Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We didn't care as long as she had cake. It's good because it's good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 You know she she did the face again, like the that I'm gonna I'm pissed off face. When you were I forgot na but you were lecturing her about uh, the girl yata na you're no you're telling her uh, no that she's she's uh, the fragile thing. When you say that word that fragile word it's like it's like a it's like <laughs> yeah what's the <laughs> yeah what's the yeah there 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 yeah that's her trigger. When you say fragile her face, <gasps> but then <laughs> that's why that's why you're overtime. You know we could have finished the questions, right? Like the three questions. Yeah, I was ready to because it depends on how long she's gonna explain. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No sé, oh, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. She handled it, yeah. <coughs> and that's not that's not good, like advice giving. Yeah, that's what that's what they told us, like in school. Like when you when you when you talk to someone, like the counseling or whatever, you have to detach yourself from from right. like from the situation. Like you don't you can't say no. Oh yeah, I know how you feel, and because it's it's you know it's not gonna help. You have to look at it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
No, but she has to. She has to know. She has to know. Yeah, yeah, by the nine-year-old, and then there's a seven-year-old, yeah, and there's a seven-year-old girl and an eight-year-old with a 15-year-old brother or something. <laughs> no way. <laughs> like the Chinese guy who went. <laughs> yeah, the suicide thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> We have Karen on Fiverr. Oh, nice. 
Adobo. <risos> Hi, Nani's chicken. Chili crab. I love Singapore food. Yeah, this yeah, yeah, this yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mo has the internet. Can we get Georgina? That doesn't count because it's it's daytime here when it's nighttime there, so it doesn't count. No way. No way. No way. Yeah, so it doesn't count. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I'd yeah, thanks. Do you save the emails? Do you screenshot it for for memories? Oh shit! Yeah, I know. You have the picture, <coughs> the Georgina picture. John. Oh, it's gonna pick up around ten ish. Then we won't have time to answer. Podcast personality test. It's your style. It's your signature move. Yeah. Yeah, that's Mo. And, and condoms and safe sex. Yeah.
Do you see our picture? My picture? I got wooden spoons for... <laughs> so, no, no, no. No, that wasn't me, promise. Last night, that was me. Promise. Sabi mo, bigas na niya kasi. Sabi mo, magsa-start na ngayon na. Sabi mo, bilisan niya. Ah, <coughs> uh, John is up. Yep. John. John. Wait lang ha, magsa-start na kami. Mamaya ka na matulog. <laughs> Mo, you wanna start na? Okay, let me know na. Narinig kaya kayo? Medyo. <laughs> Samahan niyo sa callers. <laughs> Ready? Alright, disclaimer in five. The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. This episode of Good Times with Mo the Podcast is brought to you by Globe. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. The biggest, most outrageous online show in Philippine history. 20 million fucking downloads. Interactive in 35 countries. Mo is back with a vengeance in season two. Bigger, better, badder. Let's start off with an international call. Yesterday we took a call from India. Tonight it's Canada. Nice. Let's go to Ireland. Where in Ireland are you? Well, I'm in Dublin. Some people say that I'm a bad guy. They may be right. Let's go to Afghanistan. Holy shit, are you fucking really in Afghanistan? Yeah, man, what's up? Florida. What's up? I just found your show today, and I think it's great. Live from Hollywood and at the Beyond the Box studios in One Rockwell, Makati, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two. The Bigger, Better, Badder podcast. Your questions about love, life, sex, are all answered and occasionally made fun of here. And now, the man who loves women and dudes, but not in the same way. The Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. 
All right, welcome to the podcast on this 12th of December, 2013. Good time to blow the podcast season two, brought to you by Globe. Hey, our phone number, 478-7954. Skype, the Good Times Podcast. You can text us also at 0927-214-1981. And as we do every Thursday, one of my favorite co-hosts, Kat Delano on the program. Hi, Kat. Hi, Mo. I really like Kat here. She's cool, man. And, and, you know, she's the she's the uh, voice. I'm sure you guys have put this together, but uh, she's the voice of the uh, disclaimer in the beginning. But you sound a lot more British there than you do when you're, uh, say, speaking English with us. And that's kind of cool how you can do that because, you know, like, like for me, I can only go to this kind of Western accented English that I'm used to. And then when uh-huh. we speak Tagalog, we have that very aggressive <laughs> you know the kind of <laughs> thing. But you can do, yeah you can do three I mean you can get into a British accent which you're also very natural to you because you are to an extent from Britain um, mm-hmm. then you have this kind of accented English which is more of the broadcasters English and then you you speak Tagalog and and in fact from our from Batanga so you can do that as well so you can throw a bunch of accents there if you wanted to and they're all natural they're not trying hard or anything because it's part of who you are in your upbringing. I thought it was always yeah. kind of cool. Thanks. Well, I, yeah. I, the, the only thing about the disclaimer is that it's British, but I, I'm breathing heavy. It's like, I, it's like I'm having an asthma attack or something. It's like, <gasps> well, the but it's not opinions. heavily British. It's just like, <laughs> but you can hear the hint of it when you're, and I think that's, it's kind of like when you pray, you, you know, people who speak so many languages, I always like asking them, what do you pray in? Like, what language do you pray in? So I, I think when you're not on air, quote unquote, you're probably speaking more British English. Would that be true? Um, it really depends on who I'm talking to, actually. Like, if I'm talking to my British friends, I'm incredibly British. Like, I'm 100% English accent. But if I'm speaking to American people or people with an American accent, I have a completely American accent. So, or That's a fucking broadcaster crazy. Broadcaster accent. And then, and then when you're in Batangas, your Tagalog is a lot more Batangueño. Yeah, it's like, Eddie, pumunta nga ako doon. Sabi ko nga sa kanya, eh, gayon nga. Bye. And it's you know, like because, because, angry because, and well, it sounds like I want to yell at everybody all the time. But I'm just when, happy. When I do do, I, my, my, my Filipino is awful. But, you know, I mean, I've lived in the country, obviously, 20 plus years. But for some reason, it's just awful. Um, <laughs> I, I always kind of... Picture myself when I'm speaking Tagalog. Like I, I, I always have to constantly like scratch my stomach when I'm <laughs> speaking it. Or there's, and roll there's up your sandal. And yeah, there's always a body language associated with it as well, which is kind of cool. So anyway, so today on the podcast, Catalano, let's get to your calls at four seven eight seven nine five four. Skype is the Good Times Podcast, and you can text us at zero nine two seven two one four nineteen eighty one. We usually give away uh, you know the major prize after the show. I was thinking today. Why don't we just give it away like on the spot if we really, really like a call? Let's throw away an iPhone 5C at them. I don't know. If it's a really great call. Okay. But, yeah, you know, just sometimes kind of we get really great calls and then it's like the next call is even greater. How do we know? All right. You're right. All right. Fine. Right. Okay. Let's start here, though. <laughs> Let's start with uh, Singapore and talk to Karen. Karen, you are 30 years old in Singapore, La. How are you? Welcome <laughs> to the show. What's up? Hi. Hi, Mo. Hi, Kai. Hi. Hi. I'm doing good. Hey Thanks Mo, for before calling. yung question ko, may sasabihin lang yeah. ako sa'yo. Kasi last Go. time na dinig ko yung ano, kay Bambo, sabi mo, greatest compliment pag ini-name sa'yo yung anak mo ba? Parang ganun. Sure. I almost name my, I almost, almost. name my son and, uh, na Vincent Mohan. So yung daddy niyang ewan ko ba, ayaw. Kasi ayaw niya sa'yo. So hindi ako nag <laughs> Anyway. Putang ina kasi. Almost, huh? It, it's okay. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, almost. listen, it's the gesture. And so what that you married someone stupid? That's fine. <laughs> I never you know, marry we, him. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, that, there you oh, go then. Great. You're brilliant. Great. High Smartest five. Then that's awesome. Um, anyway. he didn't like the Mohan. Now, he doesn't like me personally, or he doesn't like the Mohan, the name itself. He don't want the Mohan, because he say, I That's think, okay. I forgot already the meaning. I, ni research ko yon, tas parang sabi niya, eh, mas maganda yung Matthew. So, pinalitan namin ng Matthew. <laughs> it is better though. I think Mohan. actually he, yeah, you made the right call. <laughs> you know, you know, it's funny because we, we get, when we take calls from Singapore and then sometimes Japan, and, and, you know, obviously the Filipinos who live there, 
you guys adopt that Singaporean. We're talking about accents. You adopt that Singaporean <laughs> accent really yeah, quickly. Yeah, I just heard that. Did you hear that slip yeah. in right there? <laughs> we were going to name it Mohan. But, uh, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, there's that classic Singapore. <laughs> nah. Seriously. Uh, yeah, well, welcome to the podcast. You know, it has that <laughs> strong Singaporean English accent. And it just kind of showed there. English, yeah. yeah. How long have you been in Singapore? Uh, three years. Yeah, it, it comes so quick. Like, I see it. Yes. Especially, like, sometimes you'll see it on Filipinos. I'm like, how long have you been there? Like, 15 years? Like, no, like a year. And I'm like, wow. It's, it, but, but then I understand it because I go to Singapore a lot. And I even, in a day or two, end up, uncle, can I please go to Boki? You know, it, I think, it's yeah. really so addictive. No, it's, but it also what it is is that it's difficult for people to understand you if you're not speaking a similar dialect to them. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. It's so difficult for them the to get it. The first few days on my work, that's what they're telling me. We cannot understand you. There it is again. Yeah, unless you talk yeah, like yeah, us. Is- so, yeah, yeah. No choice. Kailangan namin aralin talaga. And Filipinos yeah, are really good at that, you know? I think that, I don't know if it's because when you speak Tagalog, it's kind of a neutral sounding, I, I don't know if that's right or wrong, but Filipinos seem to be really good at adapting their accents. I mean, that's why we're the number one for call centers because we're really good at English, Well, right? I think it is because of the high English literacy rate. It's also yeah. that we look up to a lot of foreign things as well. I mean, and I don't think it's a bad thing. I mean, like, we love Hollywood movies. I think then we love more our own movies. And yeah. we love, you know, those TV shows as much as we love our TV shows. So you get to learn it a little bit quicker, I think, than other uh, countries do or other cultures. So, you know, I, I think a, a little bit of that plays uh, a part in it. And it, it all comes down to our literacy rate. I think we have such a high literacy rate. So we're, we have the ability to, in fact, kind of adjust yeah. quickly to, yeah. to the different styles yeah. of English. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. But, but, but you know what we don't do well? We don't do the British accent well. Like, shit, I can't even do it. Like, and I think I'm good with accents. Like, you know, I think I put it as a joke, like, uh, Edge, baby, listen, listen, Edge. But, <laughs> I, but I can't do the British, and nobody, I don't think Filipinos are just really good at it. Well, I think it's yeah. because they keep thinking that British people are Harry Potter, and that's it. I mean, the, the number of people I have come up to me when they find out I'm British, and, oh, are you Harry Potter? And it's Yeah, like, it's like, oh, seriously. I want to fucking punch <laughs> so, that, because yeah. the British accent is so, it's so beautiful, but so difficult to do, and yet... <laughs> Always, every time they hear somebody British, they're always going to try to do it. All right. Anyway, so let's get to it, Karen. Your question. What's up, love? Yeah. You? My question is, kasi single mama ko, dalawa yung kids sure. ko, two boys, magkaiba ng daddy. Pero yung eldest ko, parang ang kinalakihan niya na yung daddy nung second sure. second baby ko. And very okay kami. So, pag-uwi ako, nandun siya, magstay siya sa bahay or ganyan. Then ngayon, yung mom ko, Parang ayaw na niyang lalabas ako with other guys. Siyempre, parang ako naman, siguro naman bata pa ako para maghanap ng ibang guys. Then, para lang din companionship. Lagi niya akong sinisermonan like, oh, ba't di ka nagre... Minsan magte-text siya pag gabi. Oh, ba't di ka nagre-reply? Siguro nakipag-date ka, bla, 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 bla. <laughs> Sabi ko sa'yo. Tapos lagi niya sinasabi, dapat dito ka lang kay ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Tos, so every time, lagi niya, kahit nag-aaway kami nung isa, ako yung sinisisi niya. Talagang doon sila. Tapos even yung kids ko, sasabihin nila, Mami, bakit hindi kayo nagpapakasal ni Daddy? Eh kami parang, yung yung ex ko, may girlfriend na rin siya. Tapos they're planning to get married na rin. Pero hindi niya rin alam, paano sasabihin sa kids? So parang ako ngayon, parang nastock ako, bawal magpost sa Facebook, ng kalandian, ganyan, kasi... But only with your mom, nakabantay. right? Yes? Only with your mom. Your huh? mom is the only person that has a problem. Yung nanay mo, siya lang may problema dito sa, sa, mm, with you going out. Siya lang out. yung Or, vocal, kasi yung family ko super close dun sa ex ko, so parang nakakainuman, ganyan. Nagsasabi sila, even yung sisters ko, pero siya lang talaga yung kumukonfront sa akin. You know, I really think there's a level of disappointment in you that they feel because it's it's tough to have kids with separate dads and then you're still not at least with one of them in our culture, yeah. right? I mean, okay, exactly. like, sige, single mom ka. But to have two kids, two different fathers, and you're still not involved with either of them, we're uh-huh. going to get sensitive and we're going to lecture. And to even to a certain extent, as liberal as I am, I would go to my daughter too and I'd be like, uh, listen, baby, uh, <laughs> baby, <laughs> listen, uh, you know, I worry that you're going to have three I'm children sorry. with three different fathers and it's going to look bad. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, uh, and actually, what's the question? Married ako dun sa, dun sa panganay, sa daddy ng panganay, pero after a few months, naghiwalay din kami. Pero mas tanggap nila itong pangalawa. 
Pero hindi pa kami anad nung, pang- nung tatay ng panganay. Medyo, ano lang eh, buttered wife ang drama ko noon. So, sabi ko, ayoko na. So, then I met, I met this guy, which is okay naman. As a father, okay siya dun sa dalawang kids. Pero mas tanggap nila tong isa. And ngayon, parang last time na nagka-boyfriend ako, iniyakan ako ng mami ko na parang na. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah well, I, 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 I can see that happening. I, I, don't, wanna, I don't even want to say that they're wrong because this is your life and you're single and you should do. But at the same time, Yes. I sympathize with them and I understand why they feel that way because to a certain extent, I would kind of be the same. I'd be like, oh man, you finally found a good guy and he'll, he's no longer in your life and now you're going to be pregnant again with a third yeah. different father. I it's know. Oh, See, That's the, the exact thing exact is, words. okay, Karen, you know what? Mo is talking to you like a parent because he is a parent. I'm going to talk to you like a daughter. From daughter to daughter, of course your mom is gonna be upset. Cause old school yung parents mo, de ba? Pinoy sila pareho. Yeah. So galing sila sa old school, de ba? Back in those days, you didn't get divorced. You didn't get an annulment. You stuck it out. You you fought through it, no matter what happened. You know that's what our parents yeah. did. Richer and poorer till death yeah. do us part. You know, hard hard. Gano na talaga yun. Kahit first boyfriend ng nanay mo yung asawa niya, de ba? That's it for life. Kahit na he cheats on you, kahit na whatever happens, you stick it out with them, right? So, you know, nowadays, because it's culturally accepted now to get divorced, to not get married, to have kids with different people, they're not sanay. Hindi, they're not going to change overnight. They're not going to get used to all this stuff overnight. So, you having two kids from two separate dads, syempre, she's going to get upset. You can't, like, expect her not to. Number one, she's not judging you, but she's your mom, you know, and she has old school values. So, of course, she's going to be freaked out. What she's concerned about is that people are going to talk badly about you. you yeah, know, absolutely. Are you going to be, you know, with just whoever all the time? Or may problema ka ba? Are you you're not dating these guys properly? Or, you know what I mean? They're going to be thinking all of these things. What did I do then is going through her head. Na ganito yung buhay mo. So, you know, you have to expect it. But if this is your life and you accept the way that it is, then you kind of got to just tell them that that's the way your life is going to be. And when you're happy, that's when you're going to settle down. You know? Yeah, but there comes a point, though. Sorry, Karen. There comes a point, mm-hmm. right? At least this is between Kat and I now and how we judge Karen. Mm-hmm. Isn't there a limit, though, to, hey, listen, Karen. Uh, yes, I'm not old school, old school. I'm a little old school, I guess. But I'm trying to understand what your parents feel. But at the same time, dude, girl, come on. Let's stop having kids with different dudes at the same time. No, no. You are at the I, max. I completely agree. No, no. Karen, Karen, Karen listen. I know. I'm not going to say you are going to get pregnant. I'm, yes. I'm, again, I'm trying to look at it as with your parents' eyes. It's like, dude, uh-huh. you can't do three dads and three. Yeah. It's just there has to be a maximum, and you are at the maximum. The problem is you're, you've hit the maximum, and you're only 30. So tang ina and dami pang mga tayo. You know, there's still a lot of <laughs> yeah. years that you're gonna meet somebody and a pangatlong tatay naman to. You know, it's, it's, it's gonna be. They're worried that not only that your reputation of wow, tang ina, three kids, three different tatlong panganay, po tang ina, you know, it, it, whatever, or three different fathers. It's it's bad reputation, but it's also bad for you. Mm-hmm. And they're gonna cry and they're gonna feel bad and they're gonna try to lecture you and then they're gonna start accusing you, which they're already doing that. But just because you did text, you must be out with another guy in a month. You know, it becomes an ugly little setup. So I think ultimately what you need to do is tell your parents or show, tell your mom specifically or show her that, hey, listen, okay, those two children that I had or those two relationships I, I were in, they didn't work out. But you have to understand I was battered. You know, I mean, like, it's not like I didn't try. I was getting my yeah. ass kicked. Yeah. And, and to a certain point, you can't even put that as a failure that we had a failure. It was a failure of my fucking husband who beat me up. Yeah, but you know what? My, I had no with intention. The, with the old school thing, that's not even a thing, you know? In no, the province, you, you get beaten by your husband? Ah, uh, but, but this it. is not okay, a negotiation. This, yeah, but you know this is I mean? not a negotiation I want you to do with your mom. It's a stand that I want you to do with your mom. Okay, so the second relationship didn't work out, but he's a great guy. So that's why yeah. they don't want to lose. They don't want to lose this guy because they think, yes. or I don't want to say he's they think. The they they're worried. They're worried that the next guy you think might be that beating up type of person again, and then you're going to get pregnant and stuff like that. You found a good guy. We mm. wanted him for you. He's so much different from the abusive one. And then but he's Baba Arrow. <laughs> well, see, there you go. Ah. So you and, know okay, what? Then there's Arrow. your problem. You know what? You need to show them. That you're not gonna date idiots anymore. 
this is their problem with you, okay? Not only, one, they're also worried that after having two kids with separate dads, that nobody's gonna want you anymore, okay? Parents have this worry, which is mm-hmm. a dumb worry, but they have it anyway. So you have to see it as legitimate because it's gonna be there, okay? Yeah. Second of all, if you have a bad reputation with who you dated, binugbog ka nung una, tapos babaero yung panalawa, girl naman, There's diba? A with you Kilalanin mo muna yung mga dinadate mo bago ka yeah. mabuntis, girl. Diba? Yes. Third, <laughs> pa okay na. Diba? Okay na yan, bugbog ka na nga eh. So stop it na, stop beating yourself up with these stupid idiot guys. What you do is now, okay, if you want to date guys, fine. But take your time. You have two kids. You don't have the liberty of being like, yeah, I can just date. I'm still young. I can date whoever I want. You don't have that anymore. Sorry ah. Pero after baby number one, medyo nabawasan na yung chances mo dun. Then baby number two, wala na talaga. You have to be more responsible about your dating. And you have to keep it from your parents. Date guys, you know, for a long time before you have a serious relationship with them. Go out on dates, talk to them, background check. No Facebooking yet until you're really sure about this. My kids got Facebook, hindi rin pwede. And the problem is din kasi, parang ngayon, yung mom ko, kulang na lang ipush niya si guy number two. Nahihiya na tuloy ako minsan dun sa ex-post. Pero alam na mom mo na babaero yun? Ah, alam niya. Time okay. That's what I'm saying, Mo. Old school. No, 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 no. Kat, I agree with you. Listen, I, 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 I mean, Kat hit it on the head there. I mean, it's old school. And it's like, okay, you stick with them. So what? Guys are talaga, babayar talaga mga guys. You know, that's, that's the old school thinking. Listen, Karen, at this point, I think it all comes down to, and, and you know, Kat said it earlier. I'm just going to reiterate it. Just don't tell your mom. Two things. Number one, don't tell your mom when you are dating. And number two, stop dating guys you really like. You're, you're dating, the guys that you really like seem to be fucking awful guys. Start dating guys that you're only marginally attracted to who are good guys. Like, they seem to be really nice and you only like them a little bit. I have a feeling that your picker is really off. Your, your little gauge there, your compass for who you like is really kind of bad. Now, I don't know how many boyfriends have you had in the past prior to these two guys, but if they all have a really big issue about them, if they're all either womanizers or abusive or whatever, then there's something wrong with the ones you're picking. It's not it's not among you're damaged or anything. You're just a bad chooser. So I would choose guys you like a little bit less than the guys you really like a lot. Pero, and I don't know, Kat, if that if that's true with you because you have in the past chosen some shit bags yourself <laughs> catalano well the thing is um uh, hang sorry, on. sorry well, yeah like uh the thing with that is alam mo naman yung type mo eh karen pero mm-hmm. tingnan mo yung type mo there is something there about these guys that you need to realize that is not it good for you that, and you need yeah. to make it iwas na alam ko when you start dating someone it's new it's fresh you never know about them until like six months and then it's too late buntis ka na pala you know what i'm saying like don't bang bang the guys don't bring them home to your parents. Don't introduce them to your kids. Get to know them for as long as possible. Friends muna kung pwede. Kasi, girl, tama na. You've been, you know, messing around with guys. Start to think about somebody who's long-term and who can be a stable father figure for your kids. Because kung papalit-palit lang sila, your kids are going to get messed up by it too. And that's yeah. not fair on them. I know you want to have a party, girl, but you shouldn't have got pregnant twice. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, it's already yeah. there though. So what are you gonna do? Let's yeah. just kind of like like she said. Let's no, get responsible saying, you know about the, like, the the next part of your life. You know, again, and, and, and you know what's nice is you're 30, and mm-hmm. even though it's those are man made numbers like ages and stuff like that, it's a good way to kind of reassess your ability to hold a relationship and stuff like that. You're 30, so you go. Oh, you can kind of you can tighten your pants now and go. Okay, all right. I used to go na imbuhaiko when it comes to boyfriends. I, I think you're fine career wise. I'm assuming you're fine. So, uh, okay. Uh. I don't know. I, I'm just gonna throw that yeah. out because you're in Singapore yeah, yeah. and people make seem to make good money there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just let's get let's get on the right page now when it comes to the relationship. Also, stuff, okay? sorry, my one don't more thing. Yeah, Hang yeah. on, uh, Karen. Also, now because you've had two kids, right? Like, tapos mm-hmm. kana I mean, you can have more kids if you want, but family wise, your biological clock thing doesn't have to come into play anymore. It doesn't have to be I need to have kids because I kids kana. So now you can actually be objective about guys that you date. So like, oh my gosh, I'm panicking. I'm thirty. I need to be a guy because I need to have a family. It's like okay. 
Now I'm 30. I need to find a guy who's decent, who I can have as my companion in life and who can be the father to my children. You know? Right, but this guy might want one more kid, so you know, you better be careful. Yes. Careful. The, remember, yes. the next guy that you're going to date, if it becomes serious, there is a likelihood that he's going to want also a, a child. I mean, yes. he's already got two of them, Insta Dad. I mean, he might... Yes. Be, yeah. There might be something in him that goes, well, I want one of my, truly one of my own. And then just you know, you're going to get pregnant again. So just make sure that this is going to be a stand-up guy. Thanks, Karen. Enjoy Thank Singapore, you. that lovely city-state. And, and use have condoms. a good night. Right. Do you yeah, condoms? I do. <laughs> good job. And Bye. Really, do you? All right, thanks. Bye. Never, ever buy the brand of condom that Karen uses. Never, ever do it. <laughs> yeah. If you are using condoms, you better change that shit. <laughs> Use something else, apparently. Use a different brand. Um, <laughs> Does not prevent right. pregnancy at all. <laughs> Let's take another call. Let's go to John. John, you are 14 years old. 14 in Batangas. Hi, John. Hello, po. Hi, John. Hello, po. This is a This is a very 14-year-old question from Batangas. And I'm taking this because I know this is one of your people. Yeah, Pat, John, you, you know, ba sa Batangas? Po. Tagasan ka sa Batangas? Sano si po? Ah, malapit lang sa amin. You always have to have that conversation with somebody from Batangas. Ah, oh, really? Okay. So okay. <laughs> Tagasan right, ka. Ay, malapit lang yun sa amin. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Where are you from? So he knows. I'm from uh, Batangas City, sa Micalicanto. Ah, okay. Yeah, beauty uh, queen-esque. Alam mo yun? All right, so now, now that we don't care enough, uh, John, what's your question? Yung ano po, paano ko po sasabihin sa isang babae na mahal ko siya? Girlfriend mo? Hindi po, crush na. Then you don't say it. Oh, ano hindi ka, mo pwede sabihin. Kasi hindi mo naman girlfriend eh. Po? Hindi mo sasabihin na mahal mo si Chicks kasi hindi mo girlfriend. Kung sasabihin mo mahal mo, tatakbo lang yan. Into the Taal Volcano. They're like, oh my God, somebody loves me. I don't even know my boyfriend. Layo nun sa you San Jose. You, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Pag San Han. I don't know. What the fuck? Listen, don't... That's in Laguna, right? Don't tell the girl you love her if she's not your girlfriend, John. Actually, That's it's free involved. advice that I want you to keep for the rest of your adult life. You're only 14, so you think you think that this is something special that they want to hear. Nope, don't do it. It's scary. Manligaw Never ka tell muna, John. Manligaw yes. ka muna. Naliligaw ka na ba? Hindi pa ho. Bakit hindi ka naliligaw? Nahihiya po. Oh, okay. Then, nahihiya uh, ka yeah, manligaw, yeah, yeah. pero hindi ka nahihiya mag I love you. Ganon. Uh, John. Para pong ganon. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Do not tell her you love her. That's a bad idea. So what okay? should he do first? Well, you should make sure that she, you, she knows that you exist in this world. Next thing you know, she doesn't even fucking know you're alive. Kaya so, ka ba niya? Friends ba kayo? Opo. So right, ano so yun? Great. Mag-batchmate kayo? Ganon? Opo. Eh, ligawan right. mo muna. There Yuna you go. Muna. That's the answer. You can make paramdam that you like her, but telling her that you love her is a disaster. Do not do that. John, you have to learn this early. So this is like a circumcision for you. We're going to do this early. We're going to cut it off. And then <laughs> you're going to walk around you. funny for two weeks. Yeah, you're going to walk around a little weird and stuff like that, exploding with love. But you have to control that and never say that. You have to wait till there's like some sort of established relationship. And that advice, by the way, is gold. You're going to walk around okay. exploding with love. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, I want to tell her I love her so much. I want to tell her it's just coming out of me. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But she doesn't even know your name. I'm leaking love out of my ears. Yeah, relax. Um, Excuse me. Yeah, John, again, do the classic. I mean, uh, Batangas, 14 years old. What is a 14-year-old province girl looking for? She's looking for somebody to just kind of impress her with, with, with nice chivalry type of, you know, hi, here's a flower. Here's some chocolate. Here's a Christmas gift. You know, oh, my oh, name John, is John. Begin mo siya na magandang Christmas gift. Yun na lang muna. Yeah, it starts slow. Like ano? Gee, like what? Like, Fucking like, Toblerone. Ano, yun, I don't oh, care. Yung, yung Toblerone na may flower or uh, ng uh, pulburon. Ewan, kung ano masarap <laughs> dyan. <laughs> <laughs> Buko pie. Whatever. Just Kalamay, get, masarap yeah, get her something. Popcorn. Popcorn. 
tell her anong, anong gagawin mo Christmas and then you know just a small talk and then maybe you can invite her to lunch on Christmas Eve or go to her house and bring a bring a bring a buko pie for the entire family it really does start there or madal- so, you know, magdala ka ng imp- Eden yeah, you, you can impress her you can impress her and her family at the same time kind of early you know it, you're 14 doesn't you they're not expecting the world from you jump on a jeepney get over to her fucking house drop a fucking pie and then go on. Don't hang out too long. Just say, hey, listen, you know, I'm your classmate from this. I just thought I'd bring this for you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and you po. Hello, everyone. And thank you. Maybe have a, have a little palabok and then get the hell out. Small uh-huh. steps, buddy. You got a lot of time. No I love yous. Jesus Christ. Thanks for the call, John. Get out of here. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. All right. Whatever. I think you were getting a little upset uh-huh. there, Mo. He's only 14. I'm He's a, a baby. Upset, yeah. He's a baby. I know, but He's Danny, you need to fucking throw it. Shove it down their throat. Don't do that shit. <laughs> gentle, gentle. He's little. He he's, only has a small throat. It's, you know. Watch a movie. Or, I need oh a God, deep throat. That stuff I, I need so to fast. Do that. It's hardcore, man. No, John, that's all, that all comes from love, here. brother. That I, 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 all comes from love. <laughs> Taking a commercial break. When we come back, more of your calls. 478-7954. Skype the Good Times Podcast. Hey, you can text us also. 0927-214-1981. Back after this. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Minsan may mga bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you've downloaded the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory family. Then the maid got jaundice. Jaundice is different from jaundice. Jaundice is buntis, like that. But she does not do <laughs> Tears up! Tears up! Anyway, John does not know. <laughs> this is professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so, John Tears. And I'm now happy to present to you Carlo Tayo! Look at me! 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 Tapos, ang puti. Ay, tapos. Dito ba? Pwede ba dyan? Pwede, pwede. Concealer. Ba? <laughs> Ayan, <laughs> para sa show mo, ha? O. Oh. Aray ko. Ang mayaya ba? <laughs> pwede ba itong ano? <coughs> Zora, pang ano ba to Oil absorbing? Pwede pa itong pan-nose line? <laughs> Tito oh. K, may caution. A when, caution! When caution! Basta ng glamour, te! When used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. <laughs> Burahin na, burahin na siya. Oh my God! Damn! Sorry, ma. Pabasa ka ang gamot! Ito talaga? Hindi, bago yan. Don't worry. 
Buti ako sa mata lang. Hindi naman nagkakap niyo. Buti dapat pala caution mo na yung pinakas na Join your host, Carrots Nazareno, on Live Love Lulz every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. What show? That show! It's a show! You know, all that show! It's that show, buddy. Oh, that show! Oh. Yeah, that show's cool. We talk about... Oh, 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 what does this look like? Vagina? And... Like a double blowjob! Vagina? Who is the asshole that decided to shave this shit off the entire planet? Sometimes, we like to talk about... It's like when you guys like high-fiving on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. High-five, bro! Vagina? Vaginas. And you're jacking off really intensely, but like massaging your balls and shit. I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know. Vaginas. And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. But not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on Tuesday. says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. And visit www.motwister.com. Back on the show here, Good Times with Mo, the podcast, season two, brought to you by Globe. Now, we're only going to run the podcast for another week, right, guys? Like... Till next Friday, actually, is and then that's it. We're done for season two, and we'll start season three come January. So a little bit of break from all of this stuff. So just telling you, so you know. Kat Alano on the program tonight. Hi. Follow her on Twitter at Kat Alano. She is also a singer, as we showcased last week. And um, how's that song thing coming around now? The, good, uh, very... good. I'm actually in talks now about doing a serious album, so I'm hoping that that really works out. Lovely. Yeah. Look at you. Good stuff, man. Well, you, des- you definitely have the talent for it, so I'd be incredibly proud of you if you do. Aww. All right. Let's get to it. Let's talk to another cat. She is 25 years old, and cat, where are you from? Antipolo. Hi, cat. You're on line six. What's Hi, up? Hi, cat. Hi. Hello. Hello. Good What's evening. going on, girl? Merry Christmas. We have the same name. You? You're awesome already. Mm-hmm. Okay, whatever. Cat, what do you got? <laughs> Your question. All right, so um, my question was, um, I've been uh, seeing this guy for a long time now, but um, we had a history with uh, one of our friends. I had a history with one of our friends, so um, am I supposed to tell him about that? Well, you're kind of vague because when you say a long time, how long? When you say one of your friends, is it his friends or your friends? And when you say history, what does that mean? Does it no, mean she said that... it was our friend, so it oh. must be both of their friend, right? Well, I know, but who's, yeah. it has to be one of their friends first. That's true. Because see, see, all of these things play a key role. That's why I always lecture so many of you every day on the, the need to be very specific about what you're talking about. When you say history, history could be anything. It could be we work together or you could be blowing him in his car. What is it? What does history mean? Does it mean you had sex with a guy? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I had sex yeah. with a guy. And right. we are Casual. in one group. And are they more friends than you are friends? Like the guy that you fucked is really more his friend than your friend? Um, more of my friend. No. Then it's see, then you it, don't it have changes to tell the dynamic. Anything. Yeah. Now it changes it completely. You, you see why those little things, even though they're so, when you think about it in the grand scale, it's so immature, right? To think about like, is he more is his friend or your friend? But it counts. It counts in the way people get mad. The little details. So if he was your friend first 
and then he became the friend of this guy you're seeing, then yes, Kat's right. You don't have to tell him. Mm-hmm. If it was your guy's friend first, and then he became your friend, and you fucked him, th- then it changes the whole thing. Yeah, because then the whole bro code thing comes into play right. between them, and they need to talk about it, and that, they need to be like, hey, bro, you know, I kind of tap permission. that girl. Is it all right if I go whatever? Exactly. You know? So there is a really thing. Now, was he your boyfriend at the time when you fucked him, or was he just a casual sex? That also is different. Like, if he was oh, your boyfriend, was, the mm-hmm. sorry, go ahead. Yes, because was this, uh, this guy that I had sex with, um, he just broke up. Uh, he just broke up with her, with his girlfriend, which is one of our friends as well. And oh, so we Why are you all thing, dating each yeah. other? <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's really complicated. So I don't know what to do. Some of my friends told me that I should tell him. What? The, actually, Why? the fact that wait, wait, hold on, time out one second. The fact that you <laughs> fucked your friend's ex boyfriend immediately after she he broke up with your friend also makes you an asshole. Yeah, it really does. So you're it's in not- the center. Wait, wait, you're- it happened after they like right now. Like I thought she slept with this guy a long time no, 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 ago, no, no, no. and he just. Oh, I'm yeah, so yeah, confused. Yeah, no, no, no. Why everybody's dating. No, everybody. this is what yeah, she's I'm saying. It's actually, Ke- months after. So you yeah, slept yeah. No, with no, no, your no, no. friend's ex-boyfriend uh, months after I'll, they I'll, broke I'll, up. I'll tell the story, Kat, and then you, Kat, the other Kat, you tell me if I'm wrong. Okay, okay. so there's this guy mm-hmm. that's dating one of her friends. Okay. They broke up. Uh-huh. So he, she then fucks him uh-huh. af- a few months after she, they, the breakup uh-huh, between her uh-huh. friend, yeah, right? Yeah. Which makes her an asshole. Uh-huh. And then that, that was only one fuck. I mean, casual fuck. Yeah. And then she gets together with another person in their barcada and they've been together for a long time and she wants to know, hey, should I be honest and tell him that I fucked that guy? I'm I would not. I'm more concerned about the fact that you guys are all having sex with each other. Why are you all dating in the same circle? Can't you find well, anybody it probably, else? Well, it's, it's probably this. They keep it close. They keep, like, they have a circle yeah, of friends and they sure. don't really socialize. They don't socialize outside of that group core group which is fine I understand it but you are gonna break codes here there's gonna be some people stepped on and there's some people that might get mad so that's the thing here you're not just banging this guy's friend you're also banging your friend's ex-boyfriend and he's gonna be banging you who is his friend's ex-bang fubu shit so it's gonna get a little murky it can get dangerously uh, uh, sensitive with people's feelings because if you tell the guy you're dating now that you bang that last guy, he might go and tell that guy and then that guy might say something and then the girl's going to find out that you yes. banged her ex-boyfriend and then you're screwed. And I don't think that guy that you fucked is going to say anything anyway because he has to keep it a secret because he's going to get into some shit with the girl and the guy. Yeah, because so he knows I think he was right a now, D-bag after he broke up with that girl for having right. sex with you because you're all friends too. So I don't think anyone's going to be saying anything. I, 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 again, and neither these should just you. Hun- <laughs> yeah. I think these are, ju- these are what do you call this? Um, we're not sure, but it is highly likely that nobody's going to say anything, and that includes you. Yeah. Don't say anything. Yeah. Messy. Way okay. too messy. Okay. All right? Mm-hmm. And, and I still Thank don't so get much. this need to be honest that everybody has. Like, everybody needs to be so goddamn okay. honest. You know, every night we take this call, should I tell my boyfriend I fucked 15 guys? And I'm like, why? Yeah, what does that change know, between the both of you? I mean, you? I, do, I do agree with the honesty thing, but it's, it's a matter of, of, you know, need to know basis. You know, like... Yeah. Unless, if you ask me a question, I'll honestly answer it, but there's no need for me to share things with you that you don't fucking need to know. Yeah, like, I mean, if you're in a relationship where you're supposed to get married and stuff and you want to be honest, so you cheated on him or something, then fine. But, you know, like, just to clear everything up. But if it's like, oh, yeah, I just wanted you to know I had sex with, like, 152 guys before you... Uh, you didn't need to know, you know? Yeah, and do the thing that girls do, just lie anyway. White lies. Lie about the number. White lies. Yeah. These are these are no need to be honest in these these things. Honest about your medical history, honest about your criminal history, your what these things but mm-hmm. how many people you fucked? It doesn't matter. Honest about just your lie. feelings, that kind of stuff, yeah. you know, stuff you're supposed to talk about, but you know, your sex life, past sex life as as long as it's got nothing to do with them, you don't really need to tell them that yeah. stuff. No need to be honest. All right? Mm-hmm. No need to say, hey, I had anal, all, right. all these things. Yeah, you know. Yeah, this guy shit. put beads in my nose. It was great. Yeah. Thanks for the call, <laughs> Kat. Good luck. Good times. All right, bye-bye. Really good times. Hang out with those yeah. friends, Mo. You get laid all the time. I know. That's <laughs> Fuck, man. Those codes that are being broken there. What Let's codes? There are no sa- codes in place. There's like, you know, there, you know, you no know security why there's still, on that, friends. No, there are codes. No one's just saying anything about it. But it's <laughs> like, discreetly, they're all breaking it. Uh, Samito? Is it Samito? You are on line five. 
26 years old, Paranaque. Hi, Samito. Hi, Mo. Well, we're just going to call you Sam for short, Hello. if you don't mind. All right. What's up, Sam? Uh, Samito would do fine. Oh, oh sorry. Oh. Okay. Samito. Oh. All right. <laughs> fine. What do you got, buddy? I'm sorry? What's your question, What's your question? Samito? Uh, yeah. You like um, a ramen noodle or something? How to deal with, um, with in-laws who kept on talking about their previous ex how did you uh, so it's kind of like in-laws. it's kind of like our first caller where the in-laws or you know the the you know the the people you're with they like someone else for you and and you know it, it's, you're saying your wife is it wife or girlfriend a girlfriend yeah so let's just say okay your girlfriend's parents always talk about how awesome her ex-boyfriend was Ugh, in front of that you sucks yeah um behind my back oh yeah. Well, it's behind your back. Yeah, you're they not supposed they to want. know. Yeah. But, you don't um, deal with it. Sina sabi niya dun sa girlfriend ko. Tapos yung girlfriend ko sina sabi sa akin nang Hindi ganyan. dapat 'yan sinasabi ng girlfriend sa iyo. Sorry Again, ha. Another, no need or, or like too hindi much naman honesty. dapat sinasabi niya <laughs> ng girlfriend mo sa iyo 'yan. It just hurts your feelings. What's the point? Yeah, Alam actually yeah, I'm pissed off at your girlfriend more diba? than about the parents. <laughs> it's like, Kasi, it's the, Sorry, Mo. Alam mo, Samito, parents are always gonna have a favorite, okay? They're not dating you. They're not having sex with you. They don't know what your dating life is like. They just think that guy's great. They don't know what he was doing either. They don't know what he's doing now. He could be a child rapist for all they know. But because he had a better, I don't know, set of teeth or something, they're gonna be like, Ay, alam mo si Robert. Ang ganda niya. Ang galing niya. Ganito, ganito, ganito. Kasi, you know, sip-sip siya sa parents niya. You can't let this affect you. You weren't supposed to know this. They were supposed to tell her that because that's their choice. The girlfriend that you have made her choice and chose you. So unless the parents are coming to you in your face and being like, Alamo, you're not good enough for my daughter, you can't do anything, bro. And you shouldn't let it bother you either. If your girlfriend loves you, she loves you. She dumped that guy. Yeah. And, and um, why did they break up? <clears throat> uh, because of me. There you, you mean go. You, oh, well, yeah, you kind of deserve See? it then, asshole. Yeah, like, what do you mean? You you dated her at the same time, and then you kind of stole her. Was that Samito? a question? Though? Yeah, did you did you like just yeah. steal her from this guy? Uh, sort of. Ah, well, yeah. there you go. Well, come then. on, then. Why are you getting your feelings hurt, Ted? You no, know, that on. guy's the underdog. You shouldn't be complaining. Yeah. You stole her You're from fine. him. You, well, you're fine. Well, I mean, don't worry about it. Sorry, go. But what? Ah, uh, pero gusto mo di ba parang okay din siya yung in-laws mo parang siguro in time. Yeah, sure. But they're not really your in-laws. She's just your girlfriend. If you're getting married, then you worry yeah. about if they like you or not. Then you know, do the sip sip shit or whatever you gotta do. Be Superman because you need them to like you. But right now, psh, you know, so what? Are you having sex with them? No, the, my thing is yeah, this. Yeah. It's like my, my thing is this, Samito. Dude, you you took someone else's girlfriend. Uh, there's a cer- a certain part of that is really douchebaggery, but I get it. I understand, man. If you like a girl, you like a girl no matter what, right? So, you can't have it all though, dude. Just because they're talking shit about you behind your back, and it's behind your back. At least it's not in your face, which I would rather I'd yeah. take more offense to in, in this situation if they did it in front of your face. The fact that it's behind your back, so what, man? You still kind of a part of you deserves it because you did what you did, but at the same time, you still have the girl. If she if she still loves you and you guys get along, then who cares for right now what the parents think? And again, like Kat said, you guys are not married, so it's not that big of an issue. Yes, eventually you'd like mm-hmm. them to like you if this becomes more serious, but right now, don't worry about it too much, okay? All right, no worries. As long All right, as they're nice to you in person, too. I mean, they're not rude to you, And the you, fact right? is, they're not even talking shit about you. They're just... Praising the other guy. Yeah. So if don't, don't like, interpret it as know, like he's Samito, shit about who me. does he think he is? They didn't say that. Yeah, they just said, wow, galing talaga yung isang guy kasi siguro mayaman or whatever the fuck. Yeah, but yeah, she opinion. wasn't happy there. She wasn't happy there. She was happier with you. So you ultimately have won this, this whole thing. So don't worry about it too much. And you know what? Right, also, Thanks. like not to kind of, you know, uh, girls will be girls and I should back her up on this one but sometimes girls say that because maybe you're pissing her off maybe there's something that you're mm. not doing maybe you're not oh, listening to true. her you're having a fight and she could be like alam mo lagi sinasabi ng mami ko up... mas gusto niya ex-boyfriend ko 
She could actually be making well, up the entire just... story and they're not even saying anything about you, but that's her way of deflecting the blame uh, from her and she wants to say something about you. So instead of saying it to you, she says someone else has said it. So you all you so cats definitely right. You have to be wary of that. Like whatever they say, you know, you kind of have to take it constructively. Yep. Like maybe she's saying this about me and there is a game that that is very possible that she might be playing that game as well. So just try to listen to what she's saying and implement any of those things if it sounds like it's change. Okay? Good point, yep. Kat, by the way. Mm -hmm. All right, buddy. Rock on, All man. Right. Thanks for the call. Merry Christmas, brother. Okay. Have a good one. Bring Merry something Christ over to the family uh, for Christmas. Something yeah, nice. Yeah, something yummy. Right. Food is always good yeah. for parents. Bring something Everybody over Everybody likes food. All right. Thanks, man. That buko pie from Batangas. It's <laughs> yeah, kalamai. It's good. Thanks, thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Um, speaking of Christmas gifts, man. Oh, uh, shit. I've gotten a couple uh, Ask FM questions here. Is it wrong to give a sex toy for, for a Christmas gift to a boyfriend, girlfriend? No. If it's your boyfriend you're or girlfriend. You're going to wrap a dildo and a fucking put it under a tree? Like well, that, usually they come in boxes. So even if you wrapped it, it wouldn't look like a dildo shape. It'd just be a box shape. So it's really not that, uh, you know, conspicuous. But yeah, why So you not? don't think it'd be, you think it's okay? Well, as long right. as they're not no, unwrapping them in front of their parents, you know. It has to be like obviously. a pride. Don't put but it under the tree. Shouldn't, <laughs> shouldn't stuff bit. like vibrators and sex toys, shouldn't that be given from one of your like girlfriends, like for you, for example, a vibrator should be given to you from by a girlfriend, not from by a boyfriend. Well, I mean, I guess like it's a little sensitive for girlfriends, especially here where they're, they're a little more conservative. You know what I mean? Plus, girls tend to freak out if guys give them that. It's like, oh, my gosh, she wants to be freaky. He's not happy with me. You know, and all these things come up in their minds that are ridiculous. But I mean, if you've talked about it and you've like, well, she's if you surprise interest. them with a vibrator, then yes, they're going to do that. But if you talk about it, right? Like, you oh, yeah, said, yeah, yeah. Hey. Like, if you've talked about it and it's been like, you know, I really wonder what it'd be like. You know, like, yeah, why not? You know, if they've expressed interest in it in the first place, then I, I don't think it's an inappropriate gift as long as it's not in front of her dad. How often do you change vibrators? I don't have one anymore, Mo, to be honest with you. I, I what? Um, Yeah, I know, what? right? You, Lola, I mean, what the it, fuck? I, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, am I getting old or something? You know, I just uh, do it manually now. I think I'm more organic in that way, no toys. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> but um, you know, and also, like, here, we don't really have the sex stores, the toys, you know? Like, yeah, it's yeah. kind of rare. In England, you have, like, Ann Summers and stuff, and it's great. It's like Toys R Us like, for sex toys. Like, yes. You have your Adam and Eve awesome, who, who uh, advertise you know? with us for for a little while that they, they have that you, you have yeah, those they, in the states too right and, like ann summers you know ann summers right yeah of course where you can like walk in and there's a woman there who's like hi would you like to try our anal bead special you know they're actually talking about it openly and it's like we have these different sizes of vibrators and there's like 10 on the wall mounted that you can like press the buttons of but, but, but a lot of these sex toys uh shops and stuff like that they do they do ship internationally. Some of them have free shipping internationally for, say, like Christmas season. I, I know um, <clears throat> they have a lot of promos. A lot of companies have these kind of promos and stuff like that. If you're looking for one, uh, a vibrator, I think there's a store in Metro, at least when I was there. What was it called again? There Pussies is. and Bitches or no, something no, like that? No, no, that was the pet no, no, store was in the, the back. That was yeah. the pet store. <laughs> That's uh, gone, by the way. It's totally gone. Which one, pussies and bitches? Yeah, totally gone. But the sex store oh, is still man. there. But they, uh, yeah, so you can yeah, go there. They, and they have a limited something. selection. It's all right. Definitely. But also, internet shopping for sex toys is just so. I don't know. You can't see what it looks like or what it's made of. You know how sturdy it is. I just think that. Well, that's why people ask us, though. Stuff. Like we we get questions all the time at which sex toys specifically are really really good. And I'll tell you again with my experience with sex toys. Like again. My my last girlfriend, big sex toy user, and she's she bought me a bunch of like you know flashlights and whatever. So there's a little bit of experience. I think I think the Lilo stuff, the L E L O for females, are all excellent. All those vibrators are solid uh, if you want. So you don't have to probably be kind of tested out. You can ask people. I don't know. And then in terms I of like I like testing them out. Like I mean, not in the store, obviously. I don't get down on my this dressing whatever. room that you put that shit <laughs> in your pussy <laughs> in the dressing room. <laughs> and you freaking, no, no okay, you know what I mean. Like being able to like you know the buttons, the vibration, and all this. I, I like. I like to. 
Okay, Test but if you cannot, let's say, you know, people don't have the visa to get to England and shit like that to buy a sex toy. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, the Lilo stuff, L-E-L-O, solid for the girls. For guys, if you're looking for a solid fleshlight, Meiki, I think is what it is. It's a Japanese brand, M-E-I-K-I. They make a uh, Maria Ozawa fleshlight that is wow. fucking <laughs> nuts. And uh, they even have, um, the, who's this Chinese porn star? Pico, get over here. Who's the Chinese porn star? The, like the most mm-hmm. famous one, X, uh, Z-X-Y is her initials. Um, Zhang you or some shit. What? Sola, Aoi, Aoi. So, Sola, oh, your favorite yeah, the Japanese yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, but, but man, there's <laughs> there's so many great Japanese porn stars now, like the half breeds, kind of like Kat Alano here. There's a uh, Rola or something. What the fuck is her? She's like Russian Japanese, and there's Sarah, Dang, who's Russian, no longer Japanese. Oh, yeah, she's shit. hot. Too. But but she's not as booby as Maria and Sarah are. But you know, still solid. Um. But anyway, so Meiki, M E I. KI is a Japanese brand. You can get it, I think, what's the website? I think they contacted us before. I think it's like toydemon.com or something like that. They they have those flashlights. Those are excellent. Uh, my ex, again, my ex-girlfriend bought me one of those when she was in Japan. Do they last, Solid though? Brand. I had a friend who broke a flashlight in a day. It depends on the brand. No. Oh, okay. The making stuff is... Then soloflesh.com, I think, makes this kind of like... Uh, it's not a flashlight because it's a little bit bigger, but you put warm water in it, you put hot water in it, yeah. and it go. It, so it, it's compact, right? Like it you expands. can put it in your pocket, and it super expands into this like. Oh pussy my god! Ass it's thing. like Marvin the Martian aliens. Yeah, and it's supposed to be excellent as well. I think yeah. you can get that at soloflesh.com. Nice. Just saying. How many how many sex toys do you have? I threw them away when I moved because you know it was again it wasn't it was more for her than it was for me. Like I was never a sex toy guy until I. Uh, until I was dating, you know, a blowjob shitter girl. Yeah. And she so was big into the toys. How many toys? so when toys? she would go to Japan, she would bring. Uh, I'd say like five. No. Well, that's not that bad. It's, it's a lot for me. Yeah, I, I, I never had one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. Anyway, just saying. It's out there. <laughs> Japan makes some excellent stuff, man. Of course they Again, do. and that, that, that Meiki stuff, M-E-I-K-I, I believe. That's, that's the big seller over there, I think, if I'm not mistaken, in Japan. And they make some solid shit. They're uh, X, sorry, ZXY, I think is what it's called. It's like the top seller. And then the Maria Zawa Pussy, which is patterned after Maria Zawa's Pussy. It's I think awesome. we got that. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. It's not her face. It's not actually her badge they used. <laughs> Taking a break. Back after this. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes may mga bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kaming napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Then the maid got Jontis. Jontis is different from Jontis. Jontis is Buntis, like that. But she does not. <laughs> Tears off. Tears off. Anyway, Jontis does not know. <laughs> this is a professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so, Jontis. And I'm now happy to present to you Carlo Tayo. Look at this, the third of it. Tayo, what's the name of snacks? What's the name of the snacks? Tapos. I'm putting it. Tapos. Dito ba pa di ba jar? Pa di pa di. Continue. Yeah, na para sa show mo ha. Oh. Rico, I'm a yaya ba? Pa di pa tong ano? Zora. Pang ano ba to? Oil absorbing. Pwede pa itong po nose line. <laughs> oh. Okay, may caution. A when, caution! When caution! Mas na nang glamour te! When used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. <laughs> oh, burahin na, burahin na siya. <laughs> oh my God! Damn! 
Actually, ma'am. Pabasa ka nga! talaga. Hindi, bago yan. Don't worry. Buti ako sa mata lang. Hindi naman nagkatap mo. But dapat pala, caution mo na yung pinaka na ito. Join your host, Carrots Nazareno, on Live Love Lulz every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. She hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Great news to all commuters out there. Grab Taxi. That's the Philippines' leading taxi booking mobile app. They've teamed up with Globe. So with Grab Taxi, you're assured of affordable, safe, and comfortable ride around the metro because it's not possible for users to share ride details over Facebook and email. This way, loved ones can track taxi routes and other important details real time, making the journey safe and secure. The driver's phone number, plate number, and other important details would be made available to users even before they get in the cab. So Get this, as a gift to its subscribers, Globe is slashing off Grab Taxi's 70 pesos booking fee from December 1st until December 15th, which is only a few more days. So go download the Grab Taxi app and keep safe. All right, good stuff. Hey, 478-7954 is our phone number. Skype the Good Times Podcast. You can text us 0927-214-1981. We've still got a lot of calls tonight, so let's keep it going. Kat Alano's on the program tonight. You can follow her on Twitter at Kat. Alano. Oh, and congratulations. I, I saw that your show was number one on iTunes on Yay, video podcast. Yay, thank you. Usually I yeah. wouldn't be proud of the fact that we are above you, like, but it's, it's kind of nice that we beat you for yeah. once. Don't worry. It only long. Yeah, yeah, it just won't last once. long. It's fine. Yeah. I know. I'm just saying, like, it's nice. It's you know, give us props yeah. for like a little minute, yeah, you know. Right. I, I know you took it back after like five, but. Uh. Hours. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, no, really. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you, you. You guys do a good job over there. Disgusting show, but. Disgusting. Yeah. Good job. We're, I'm, I'm trying to get better, okay? I'm trying to be a little more educational, a little less foul. No, it's not you I'm worried yeah. about. It's uh, fucking the other guy. What's his face? <laughs> Sip. <laughs> he's the fucking crazy one. Oh, but he's so entertaining. We just can't tame him. We can't. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's just fun. That's fucking nuts. <laughs> well, Basti's right. pretty bad, too. Yeah, but Basti is like. See, Basti can go to church, dress up, maybe at a <laughs> wedding, and behave, you know? Sib is like, I would never invite him anywhere, ever, into anything that had to do with, like, public, like, people going to have an opinion about, like, who I hang out with. He's a really nice guy. I mean, Sib is. But I just can't, yeah, I can't invite him anywhere because I'd be like, fuck. Well, first of all, especially not if what are you wearing? A, what are you wearing? B, you're not allowed to drink. C, please be quiet. You know, it'll be like that. He's a very odd boy. Um, I love But again, really nice. When he's not mad and crazy. Let's go to... MJ, 19 years old, Muntinlupa, line six. Hi, MJ. Hello. Yeah. What's so, up, brother? Yeah, nothing much. How can we help you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So my story went goes like uh, one day, me and my girlfriend were in, we were in college. So you know how college is, and we went to go to a bar like we always do every weekend with our sure. friends. So we went. So we got really drunk and high, and uh, after a few drinks, I went to the bathroom. Then I saw my ex. I saw my ex, uh, like, after six months after we broke up. And then we started talking. And then, uh, you know, we got into a conversation where she's talking about my me, about my body now. So she was drunk, mm-hmm. though. And then she she started pulling me out out of the bar and, you know... Do want to do stuff, and then yeah. where was your girlfriend? Uh, she was with our my, our friends. Okay, she was drinking, uh-huh. and then I was drunk too, so I didn't know what to do. So uh-huh. we went out. I, sure I was I lucky, luck, luck, I was lucky enough to sneak past my girlfriend. Well, yep, sneak. Yeah, that you're was very the word. Lucky. Yeah, that's lucky. <laughs> and then, is also another nicer way of describing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so then, after that, there there was a McDonald's near. Oh. Or the bar. McDo bang bang. Oh yeah, you gave her the McPews. So, the McBang bang. <laughs> so we went you to the bathroom the then. Oh, the real McLovin. Yeah. You fucking <laughs> had sex in a McDonald's 
C R. Yep, oh man, yep. you are now uh, the official Filipino McLovin. Shit. That is now your yep. name. Yep. Dang. <laughs> Oh my then, god, uh, dude, that is foul. The band, we, we, fucking the it took like ten oh minutes. Oh my god. Uh huh. It took like ten minutes, and then after that, we I Kids went back. Happy meal. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then what? Well, yeah. 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 And then. All right. Your I hand was on back. Ronald's face while you came. Fucking, you know, it's, it's funny. You're, you're fucking her, then some kid drops their Monsters University toy out of their Happy Meal, fucking rolls underneath the thing, step on it, fucking hurts. All right, anyway, continue. Yeah, Wait, sorry. but was it so one you, of those, yeah, like, so. big CRs? You know McDonald's has those big CRs where you can close the door and it's, like, a hotel room size and you can do it in there? Or, like, is it one of those cubicle, like, gross ones? No, it's, I it's think it's kind of big. It's kind of big. Okay, so it was, like, one of those like big close-the-door ones. Did you guys fuck in the right girl out. bathroom or the boy bathroom? The me unisex uh, boy, 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 boy bathroom. Uh, boy. <laughs> Hold on, one second. Time out, time out, time out. Time out, time out. Wait, hey, this is for reference for everybody else. If you're going to fuck in the bathroom, because it has to be done, like you have to fuck, and it has to be in a public bathroom, is it better to go in the boy bathroom or the girl bathroom? I think it has to be way better to go in the girl bathroom just because of filth. Like, uh, boy, men, men restrooms are so fucking filthy. It really that- depends where you are, though. Like to be really there's honest no with place you, I have anywhere been, where no okay I again, have here's your, these been, are gonna be your crazy you know, singular <laughs> stories I'm talking about generally now no love. but generally I'm not even kidding you okay space places like McDonald's like they're in really public toilets and back me up and baby there's no, some gross impossible. ass mo okay first and foremost impossible men Listen. okay no no okay wait hang on. I get yeah, you. Yeah, MJ, hold on. We'll there get back are, to your story. There it's are good, but I gotta fucking win this one. Hold I get on. you. Yeah. I get you. Yeah. And then yeah, there are the cubicles where men take a shit and stuff. And yes, sure. men are pigs. But no. there are some women who are pigs. And you don't just have the pee. You don't just okay. have the poop. You have the tissues all over the place. You have the standing yeah. on top of the seat because they don't want to sit on everybody else's poop and pee of those who have missed. Sure, and then sure. they have menstruation, which a lot of the time in public bathrooms is not dealt with well, okay? Especially if they didn't know it was coming. It was an accident. There's a bloody napkin on the floor or in the bin. It stinks. And you're trying to bang bang in there. I don't think so. Still, you're right. There are a few women out there that are fucking horrid. Oh, but, my God. More than you think. But Ladies, please step it up. The strength up, in numbers that we are far more gross and far more filthy that if you – okay. See, the thing is you're picking out one out of every 15 to 20 CRs. But what you've been mistaken is that 19 out of 20 of ours are filth. See, like, okay. If How you many and I public walk, ladies' bathrooms do you think I've been to? You think I'm one of these like social kids that doesn't go to public toilets? No, I have been no, to public toilets. I'm not toilets, saying okay. that. I'm talking about the strength in numbers of filthy, disgusting people. You are far outnumbered. We are way worse than you guys. And I'm talking that about you're only telling stories of one out of every so uh, often. No, Mo, no. Restroom. Look, and every is agreeing with single me. And one is that we go into is fucking shit. Oh my god, Mo. Seriously. Pico, get over here, goddammit. You god have damn it. no idea. And mm-hmm. just like not in her head with me vehemently. You know like, how many yeah. times that no, okay, no, no, Pico, no, wait, wait. tell me. Okay, I'm gonna shut win the fuck this up. argument. Cat, cat, fuck up. Shut up. Shut, 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 <laughs> Pico, mm-hmm. how many times have you for example, the boy bathroom is closed mm-hmm. or just so filthy you can't go inside. How many times have you snuck in a female bathroom to use it and go, holy shit, it's clean in here? Like a couple time. of times, yeah. Yeah. And isn't that the same thing you say every single time when you walk in? See, Kat, what we've done as guys is this. We've gone into men's CRs and go, god damn it, it's, a, it's fucking filthy in here. I'm not going to use the bathroom here. I have to take a shit, and it's not going to. Sorry to be all high and mighty, hashtag south, but there's no <laughs> way I can fucking use this. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come out. I'm going to look around. There's no chicks here anyway, and I'm going to go in their bathroom, and I'm going to go, oh, my God. How immaculate. Sometimes, How can yeah. ours be so Because you don't so know immaculate? any better, okay? Because you don't know no, any better. What I'm saying is we have. You don't know what goes on in have, there. Mo, listen to me. We go okay? inside the female restroom, and we go, Wow. 
what the Mo, fuck is this? Listen, I should to me. be charged to go listen in here. Listen to me, especially because we're talking right, about right. it like a McDonald's bathroom, okay? Like that's in right, the middle right. of the night when people have been drinking sure, sure, sure. and been drunk and eat. anyway, it Whatever. only takes because when women want to go to the bathroom, they only use. The cubicles. There is no stall. There is no stand thing. There is no like trough, whatever you call it, where you pee in. There's no difference. It all goes in the one bowl. Now, it only takes one woman, okay, who is probably squatting because she doesn't want to touch the toilet bowl with her butt. She's squatting over the toilet. She's probably not squatting very well because her leg muscles aren't that strong. We're not. We're not no, asking no, you to lick to me. the fucking bowl. Listen We're just talking about stand up doggy style me. sex. Okay, no, no, fine, go. Listen. Then when one woman misses, okay, because you can't aim with a vagina, okay? You can aim with a penis, which means that you oh, guys actually you have are, a better ratio, <laughs> no, okay, no, no, of no, no, getting no. it in the bowl. See, Girls no, no, who no, squat. This is where you're wrong. This is where you're wrong. Well, pee your on the seat. Okay, fine. Listen, listen. Kat, and then every other woman okay. will squat and Kat. pee on the seat after right. that. Okay, fine. Yes, you, so you can't point as better as we as, as, as well as we do. So you're trying to piss, right? And you can't fucking... Aim it properly. But at least you're trying. You know what we're trying? We're trying <laughs> to pee on the wall. See, that's the difference between you and I. You are filthy <laughs> by accident. We're filthy because we love it. <laughs> so when you see pee on the wall or on the, on the seat, you go, put on, you know, someone accidentally peed. No, 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 no. That's not an accident. <laughs> I fucking did that on purpose. Well, then it's your own damn fault. You guys are all gross and you all have nasty That's, bathrooms. But see, the question is, when you're going to have sex in a restroom, which restroom are you going to go to? Okay, fine. You want to take it to Ange? You want to take it to Pico? Fine. Ange, baby, come here. Listen, Ange, when we fuck in the uh, in, in, <laughs> in, uh, filthy Philippine bathroom, which one you prefer? Me to fuck you in the ass? In uh, filthy <laughs> men or women who should not be allowed to vote? Which one you like? <laughs> what do you think, Ange? Ange? Get your big Boy, tits over boys' here. bathroom or girls' bathroom? You're gonna for fuck your, sex. your your Muslim boyfriend. Which bathroom do you want to do? What? She says she doesn't have sex in the bathroom. She's not not classy. Ange, get over here. Which she one do you no. want to do it in? She said no. She wouldn't have sex in a public bathroom. I say go in a uh, unisex bathroom. <laughs> see, in my country, no tissue. We wipe ass with the right hand. Oh my goodness! Yeah, yes. that is true. No, right. isn't it the left hand? It's oh right, no! It's the yeah, right probably. hand. Yeah, one of the hands. I don't no, know. No, it's whatever. the left anyway. hand. They wipe with the left because they chop off the right if you've been bad, and then you have to wipe with your. You have to eat with your can, wipe hand. Can we get back to this guy here? Yes, we MJ. Can. <laughs> so you fuck. Sorry, you, know, you fuck MJ. your. You fuck your girlfriend in the public bathroom. Man, uh, women's yeah. women's or men men bathroom filthy shit. All right. So <laughs> what happened? You test your feet for STDs. What happened after that? Yeah. Take us back to okay. You just you just came inside McDonald's. What do you do? Yeah. So what happened? So we did it there. After that, we went back. We went back to the bar, and then surprisingly, uh, I saw my girlfriend. And Curtis out with another, What? You saw you saw your girlfriend making out with who? With another girl. With another girl. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow, oh, that's hot. <laughs> that's. I, I know, we, <laughs> that's badass. We 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 just met, and I, you know. We just had like uh, two months before that, so I didn't know her that much. So I didn't know she had that in her. Okay, so what's the question? Yeah, so was that karma or? Nope. Or was was it just luck? No. Was luck. it karma or was I, I, it luck? No, no, no. How can There's it be no karma or karma. luck? It's like what the. There's no, no such no, thing as karma. No, 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 no. There after is that, such but, thing as karma, that, but that's not the, not the case here. There's no such thing as We're karma. We're not having that argument. We already had a toilet the, argument. That is yeah, our one the, argument of silliness will, okay. for the day. The, the, the no, argument we're not having is, the karma argument. I, I did not, not see a having. clear winner on that. The karma wait, thing, wait, you wait, are wait. fucked. We are not having a karma argument. Listen, MJ, MJ. Hold on, MJ, shut up. You... Apparently, I don't, you've forgotten who you're talking to. Here. I know, you, Mr. I Karma doesn't exist. Blah take blah blah. You apart with yeah, the karma. Yeah, yeah, I know. We've had this argument I before. We're not arguing apart. about it now, MJ. All right, I'm going just back saying, to your filthy, listen, filthy, dirty boy sex you, bathroom sex. I will not even give you a little bit of sympathy because we're friends right, and stuff. With down. the karma shit, I will calm fucking down. rape Relax. you. Relax. All right, anyway, continue. Relax. All right, go ahead. Sorry, you're saying right, what? So, uh, no, she. After that, of course, I was surprised. So he broke up. He she broke up with me. Then after that, after I confronted okay. her, after. you sound kind of like Pico. 
Are you what? guys? Are you yeah. guys related? Hey, act like him too. Anyway, <laughs> continue. So, what's the question? Is it karma? Yeah. Is that it? That's your question. No, 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 no. This no, no, is no, no, the no. wrong show to call with it that question. It wasn't done. That the story. The night wasn't. The night didn't end there. After she broke up with me, I went out, and then she slapped me first time, and then I went out, and then as I as I went out, I sat in the parking lot of McDonald's, and then I saw my ex again, with another uh-huh. guy. Oh. And? So, and they went in. They oh. went inside the McDonald's bathroom also? She had a round two in the baño, McBang Dude. Bang again, Man. double. These she balls. had a double. Your, Dude. Holy shit. Bottom. These girls that you're dating, just, man. Fucking yes. whole bags. What all the right. hell? First well, of all, well first, well, first of all, you're living it up. Congratulations. 19 years old and all of that action in one night. That's good times, man. That's like, nah. see, now I'm your age. I'm double your age. I'm well, nearly. I'm 36. And if I could have a night like that, I would consider that a huge victory. So <laughs> while you're sitting here trying to decipher, oh, my God, is it, you know, divine intervention, karma, is this a, to, to us, that's a, that's a great night. I, I wouldn't consider that as a great night. That's a great no, fucking night, the, brother. Yeah. For, for some, yeah. but not for me. Why? Why did your girlfriend slap you? Did you tell her that you just cheated on her? Like you walked in, you're like, oh, I just had sex with a girl. Ha. Huh? So you're making out with a girl. It's okay. How did she slap I you? I don't know. I think. T- time out. MJ, MJ. Time. MJ, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about that it's not a good night? What are you, like a saint? You just fucking snuck out of a bar to fuck a girl inside of McDonald's and you come back and all of a sudden your emotions now are affected <laughs> by. <laughs> what the confused. fuck are you talking about? Confused. Confused. No, you weren't. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's like all of a sudden you could go out and fuck bitches inside a public fucking sea or come well, back no, and all of a sudden see, have some sort happened? of moral code. What happened was that he he fucked over his girlfriend. He had a guilt thing. Then he came back in. Then it wasn't so guilty because his girl was making out with another girl, and it was like, oh, well, then that's not so bad. She broke up with then him. She, then, then he, he goes slapped. back outside, and no, he's no, like, oh, well, slapped. I could probably hook up with my ex again if I see her. And then he sees her with another dude going back to the same place. That's a great and, night. Boom. That's a great yeah. fucking night. MJ, what, yeah. are you, what is wrong with you? That's awesome. Again, you want another guy's opinion? Pico, get over there, Salad. Mm-hmm. Isn't that the greatest fucking night ever? Yeah, that's a win for me. Dude, yeah. that's a win. You know what's not a win? Did you use a condom with that girl? Because I bet you she didn't of use a condom not. with anybody else. She banged of in that much love no, bathroom either. Yeah, it was bare no, no. dick. I want to get that, that check, bro. Might be yeah, a good idea. No, that's awesome. And then guess what? She's probably blowing the guy inside McDonald's, oh, and you just God. fucking, you know, you, she, you she just, just had blew a guy, bro. In she the just bathroom. had your dick in her mouth, and she now she's making out with that dude. That's a win all the way around. <laughs> win, win, win. Fuck yeah, man. Fuck yes, it's a win. So shut up, you fucking pussy. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, all right, MJ. Listen, next time. That. Yeah, yeah. Next time, please do, that, uh, yeah. do me a favor. Stop dating skanks. Yeah, and dude. get a good girl Dang, in your system dude. soon. You know, right, not right. yet. You're 19. You can still you can still date the hoes, but right, right, right. soon start getting a little bit more serious. All right, yeah. not serious right, in serious right. relationships, but use in your choice of women. Lord. Please start choosing right. better women soon. Okay. All right, buddy. Okay. Oh, I will. God, yeah, I, thanks, I, thanks. I envy you. You're welcome. <laughs> bye bye. What a life. Look at me. I'm stuck here. That is here. foul, though. She went in. A, that's a pretty funny night, though. Like, he went, cheated on his girlfriend with his ex-girlfriend, came back, and was like, oh, shit, she's making out with another girl. I still don't understand okay, why she slapped, slapped him. We forgot to ask dumped. that. She was drunk. I, I'm sure she was just that. It was drunk. Like, you caught me. I'm embarrassed. I'm going to slap you in the face. But you didn't know, bitch. I was fucking But she broke up with him, too. It. So it was like, what, because she made out with another girl? It was like, fuck you. Slap you in the face. I break up with you. The girl kisses. Yeah, better because than you. she's drunk. Yeah, because some people when they're drunk, they do stupid shit. Yeah, well, you know, come on. Like all of them yeah. were in good state that night. Yeah, everybody. And you remember, he said drunk and high. So it's not like you know they threw they they brought the whole thing that night. <laughs> right. I, and, I, I, yeah, and I'm saying in it's a McDonald's win, dude. McDonald's bathroom. Muck loving. Yeah, man. Your ex. Your ex. Have a is double her- muck bang bang with a side order of pee. Your, your ex girlfriend is dipping her chicken McNuggets in some fucking sperm sauce right there. Ah, oh, love nasty. it. Let's go to uh, line five and talk to uh, who do we got here? Matt, 20, QC. Hi, Matt. Hi, Mo. Hi, Miss Scott. Yeah. Hi. Good evening. What's Good morning, up? Mo. Good morning, sir. Thanks for being here. How can we help you? Yeah, I'm going to ask for advice. That, um, I've been totally liking a person now for about a month now. Sure. Uh, the thing is, um, 
feeling ko mali ako na sinabi ko sa kanya na gusto ko siya. Because uh, that ended up like me not talking to her for like a uh, couple of weeks, maybe three weeks. And then we talked again. Um, she told me that she missed me. And, Good. Um, so, yun, nag-usap na kami ulit, usap-usap. Then, um, came to the point na sinabi ko na gusto ko naman ligaw. Kasi sinabi na rin naman niya sa akin na may gusto na siya sa akin. Excellent. Um, prob- what? Yeah. Excellent. I said it's working out for you. Good for you. Y- yeah, it is. But there's but the a problem there. is um mm-hmm. I learned from you because I always uh listen to your podcast and stuff. Good man. Um that a relationship without sex is bound to fail. Oof. I've never said that. Yeah, I, well, I, we 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 what we implied was a relationship without sex is difficult to be successful in. If, Bound to fail is, is if like If one of the chance. people has already had sex. Well, if no, both if virgins, one of them wants to have sex. No, not, not really, because there are people out there that have sex, and then because they like someone so much, they're willing to wait. And, you know, I think with Chito Miranda and Kay Abad was like that, if I'm not mistaken. You have a rock star guy who all of a sudden had a girlfriend who was not – Who's you know who's willing to wait and obviously is open about waiting and then he said yeah for so for like seven years there's no sex and then all of a sudden you know when they break up Bobby he's back to fucking you know so it's possible, um, but it's difficult is what we said it's very and I I forgot what analogy I used I used the great analogy and you know I love using the analogies about about this I think it maybe had to have done with like vegetarianism or something like that I forgot what my analogy was it, this was just fairly recently when we brought this topic up Be- because sex is communication. Another form of communication. It's not just coming and fun and, and feels good on your dick and your pussy and all that stuff. It, it's, a, it's, an ele- it's a form of communication. You're going to remove that element from it. So that means everything else has to be top-notch for this to work out. And it's not like you're going to go your whole life without having sex. You're just, she just probably wants to wait till marriage. It is very much possible to be successful at this, but it's extremely difficult. What was your question, uh-huh. Matt? No, I, um, I think the question. I like, think the question is like I mean, how are you going to be like successful? She's like close to perfect. I mean, um, she's but the problem is she's like the next Mother Theresa or something. Oh God. Um, and I can't deal with that. And I may, it may sound douchey to you, Mo and Miss Cat, and I apologize, but it's not. Um, it's normal. There's this thing that um, I liked her because I wanted to help her. She's like, para siyang ano? She describes herself as parang like socially awkward. Oh, and gusto niyang, uh, she wants to explore the world and stuff. And I told her that I would help her. But she didn't like uh, want me to help her. Because sabi niya sa akin na parang ayaw niyang nakaistorbo siya sa ibang tao. And then that yeah, man, man, like, but that uh, has nothing uh, to do with the sex life though, s- bud. Yeah. Right? Uh, what? It, doesn't, it has nothing to do with the sex life though, right? I mean, that, that's your issue. Yeah, your it, issue is you like this girl, but yeah, she so. said clearly that she's not ready to have sex. Uh-huh. That's true? But the problem is, um, right now I'm currently liking another girl, but not to the point that parang gusto ko rin siya at the same level nung nililigawan ko. Mm. But there's two yeah. problems. One, she's a friend of my present love interest, and number two, Ooh. one of my very good friends likes her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. So yeah, you, but this so what girl you do is right like is... she she has sex, is what you're saying. I uh, yeah, this girl yeah. Probably okay. Has sex okay. This is what you need to time. do, buddy. Well, first of all, this other girl that you like, you have to remove that from the equation because then you're gonna fuck up future relationships with friends and this girl that you really, really like. I think now, cat. This 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 is gonna sound douchey, but if sex is really important to you and you're 20, so you know it's gonna be important for a long time. I think you bang as many chicks now while you're courting this girl, <laughs> and the moment she becomes your girlfriend, you have to stop and just kind of, you know. But also, you know, I mean, if you already know this, I mean, and you don't think you can deal with it, like, don't do it. Because I've I've known people who have, you know, loved somebody and said they were perfect and everything and, and they wanted to be with them and they were together for years and years. But at the same time, they ended up cheating. And I'm not because saying that no you're going to. Yeah, because they had no sex. And, you know, as much as I you can say that it can work, but it is really difficult. And if at this point in time already in the beginning, you're already looking at somebody else because you're like, I can't deal with this, then it's probably not going to work out in the long run because you're at some point going to have this urge, you know, it's already there. I mean, Mo, maybe you're going to contradict me on this and, and maybe I'm wrong, but I think that if a guy already knows that sex is really important to him and that's what he wants in a relationship as well, 
it's going to be really difficult to him to remain celibate for like what six yeah. to seven years. Or I know. Like I'm that. with you. I'm with you. And it's going to be difficult, but it's not impossible. Now, now, see, the thing is, Matt, if she is as you say she is, you said she is perfect. Almost. If she's perfect. in fact almost, or yeah, or nearly perfect, <laughs> then there's nothing wrong with trying. Let's yeah, try, no, try. The fact that he even said that there's another girl that he kind of likes says to me that no, it's not that serious. Like, you know, if he really right. liked this girl and he was dedicated, he would never have mentioned other girl. Right. And this is the problem, you know? Okay, right. But when you're 20 years old, you can fail and fail and fail and fail a million times, and who cares? In, in this kind of situation. Mm -hmm. Listen, the guy's 20. He likes a girl, right? Yeah. He thinks she's almost perfect. He's so in love with her. Whatever the fuck. Try it. Dude, if it doesn't work out in six months, what, what are you? Now you're 20 years old in six months. You know, you're not 37-year-old woman. You're not 40-year-old guy. You're 20. Dude, live it up. Dude, we just came from a call from a guy who was banging chicks in fucking McDonald's and going back to his girlfriend inside whatever the fucking bar, <laughs> so, Konyo bar that was prior to that. Dude, that's living it up. Now, I'm not saying to behave that way because that was a little... <laughs> fucking wild yeah, and crazy and use condoms what I'm please is not too serious buddy relax if she's not gonna have sex with you fine if you can't take it anymore we'll try it until you can't take it anymore yeah but do you even like her that much like you're saying she's almost perfect but you also said that yeah. you kind of like someone else so how much do you really like this girl if you already have somebody else that you like yeah i, I mean it's not love i mean i just like her yeah. but um it's like I'm almost into loving her, but I'm not that quite sure yet because of the circumstances. Yeah, but, that no, see, yeah. you know but what? I'm you need to this. stop. No, that. no. Listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna interject here, and I'm gonna disagree because Go. I think if you really, really like her and you think super highly of her, and one day if you guys become boyfriend girlfriend, because it could lead to that, she has told you she likes you, you can fall in love with her so much that you are willing to wait. I mean, it is really plausible to, to, to think that. Remember, I turned down a threesome with a Brazilian big tit model and a friend of yours, cat, who's a model. <laughs> I turned down a threesome because I liked a girl so much that I was willing to not go into this amazing situation that I was supposed to be in. Yeah, but you were sleeping with that girl, weren't you? I was sleeping. I eventually slept with the other model. Yeah. But I so, but there's a fucking threesome know, with a Brazilian that's, that's model. That's not. No, you know, I you were still getting laid. No, time out. You no, were I was, still ended, no, getting listen, laid. Listen, I ended up sleeping with a girl at a different time. Yeah. But while you're waiting for this girl, you were still getting laid. My point is this. It is possible. <laughs> See, semantics. No, 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 no. My point is this. It is possible to hold, withhold your sexual desires if this girl is so fucking worth it. Now, you will only know that if you, in fact, try it. If you don't try it, you'll never know. If you try it, it might happen. And if it does happen and all of a sudden you can no longer hold out, you can no longer fight the urge – you can break up and fuck everybody you want in any McDonald's, in any Jollibee, uh, in any Wendy's. Try you to can avoid the public bathrooms, dude. You, you can do anything nice. you want Gross. after that. Gross. But at least you tried. Yeah, I mean, I agree with Mo on this one. Now, now that you're actually there and you do, so you said you like this girl and you told her and now you want to make Lee go and whatever. And the other situation is kind of messy because your friend likes that girl and yeah, you don't know, do that, all girl. these other things. Maybe, you know, see how it goes. And you never know. Things could change either way. You know, she could change her mind about what she wants to do. Or you could change your mind and fall in love with her and decide you don't want to have sex anymore until she's right. ready. You know? All right. So, Matt, do the right thing. We have too many calls to linger on this any longer. Good luck, my friend. Thanks for being part of the show. We appreciate it so much. Go out with that girl. Thank I think, you, Mo. I think she's worthwhile. Okay. I think she's worthwhile. Thank you, Mo. Thank Give you, Miss Scott. Thanks. All right. Bye. Bye. Good luck. Bye. Let's go to Bella on line two. Bella, 23 years old. Bella. City, line two. Bella, what's up? Hey, I'm, I'm Bella. I'm 23. Hi, Bella. But I have to tell you, first up, the story started when I was 19. Uh-huh. Okay. So it's a really uh -oh. crazy story. It's not like... It's not really time out, 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 time out. It involves a really old guy. No. Okay. Okay. A little, no, no. Okay, the story Six is... Six dwarves um, and a monkey. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I was a student in Ateneo, and there was this guy that I really, really liked. We were classmates. Can you still hear me? I'm trying to speak softly. So no one yeah, else can you're hear. Fine. Oh, we can understand you. You're okay, fine. Um, the thing is, um, the year after we were classmates, he got kicked out of Ateneo. But then I would still see him once in a while when he'd visit. And then 
around the same time, there was this weirdo who would who would um, add me on YM and fake accounts. Like he told me himself that wasn't his real name. And then I was really curious about who the guy was. And then he told me that. Uh, he, at first, he asked me. I asked him, "What school are you from?" And he was like, "I'm from FEU." Blah blah blah. But then I had this feeling he wasn't because he spoke English really well. And then, um, <laughs> wow. what's that say dirty, about it? What? God, me, you're a douche. Okay, he asked anyway, me dirty questions like, "Are you a virgin?" Uh, things like that. You want to, you know? And what were you he, expecting? If he from he's from FEU, what were you expecting? Are you virgin? No, and then later on, he <laughs> asked me something like, um, "What if? What if?" I was from Ateneo, would it matter? And then I was like, so what if you're from Ateneo? He was like, would it matter? And I said, what matters to me more is not the school, but the person. And then I told him that I like this guy. But then the thing is, he got kicked out of Ateneo. And then I thought that that would turn him off if he knew that I liked somebody already. But the thing is, right after, he asked me out. So I was really curious about who the guy was. So I said, okay, fine, let's go out. And then, um, and then, the thing is, I stood him up because my friends told me not to. So I thought that was the end of it. And then three weeks later, I got another fake YM request from the same guy. And then he told me that I stood him up. Then I was like, sorry, I don't want to talk to liars. And then later on, he told me to ask questions about whom, about who he was. So I asked for clues about who he was, how he knew me. He said, like, we were classmates before. We were Facebook friends. He gave me so many clues. And to find me, I already, ha- I already had an idea about who he was. And, and you thought he was the guy was, from Ateneo? Yeah, it was that guy okay. that I really liked. Okay, the one right. who got, got kicked, kicked out. out. Okay, is, so um, he was pretending not to be yeah. him. If you already liked him, why was he still pretending to be somebody else? Well, Whatever, no, maybe he is, was having fun. All right. Well, continue. Is, I feel like this girl tells years? a long story. Yeah. So yeah, I want to speed up the process. Okay, okay. Well, okay. well hurry up. Tr- but it's, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, what, we, we, what you, if you see how many reason. calls we have, we have literally like a dozen or more calls. All on right, all right. And, and on, not that I want to pressure you because I like I like the way you carry yourself, especially okay. the whole. He's from FEU. Anyway, he speaks um, English better. You're funny, but yeah, anyway, continue. So okay. what happened was, um, he kept on giving me. I had a feeling I knew he was. I knew it was him. And then later on, I told him, "Do you want to go out?" But next time, na lang. Because I didn't feel like going out then because I had, I had acne. Okay. okay, whatever. Yeah, and then yeah, so, next. so later on, he would add me, but then he wouldn't really talk to me anymore, so I got pissed. He also had a fake Facebook account, so I sent him a message there, and then three weeks later, he added me again. After a long time, because he didn't add me, three weeks later, after that message, he added me again, and then he asked me to go out. And then he gave me more clues, and then he asked me to go out. Uh-huh. Oh, my God, I can't handle it anymore. So, what so happened we, at the end? Are you dating? Are you not dating? Is he still stalking you? No, you what happened? You what happened him. was, we never we never got to meet. He ended up with another girl because of some circumstances. And then uh, a year later, I got another fake YM request, but this time it was from his fake Facebook account. And this time the guy sounded different. Oh my God! You he know sounded what? different, but I knew that was his account. Except that the guy sounded different, so I still continued talking to him. And then I we talked about dirty stuff. I really wanted to meet the guy. So yo, I yo, ha- ha- hang on one second. Oh, wait, 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 it's finally getting good. Okay, it's finally, okay, I hear okay, dirty okay, stuff. Right, right, go, go. So I'm going to give you I'm gonna give you two more minutes, and that's okay. it. We're going to go. Okay. Go. So the guy told me, I just did everything he wanted me to do. I, I sent him pictures and stuff. Pictures of what? Of my, Are you naked? Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but See, my, I told you, Kat. It was right around the corner. Yeah. You're, you're, you mean your pussy only? I that to a stranger because he thought it was the guy that you liked. And then so... Finally, we met, and it wasn't him. So I was so sad. Yes. But deep down, I always had this <laughs> feeling that it really was him. That I have this feeling he just mm, told some other awesome. guy to meet me instead. So I thought that was that's the end awesome. of it. The thing is, I still like the guy. So uh-huh. during graduation, I even gave him something secretly. And then, like what? A blowjob? Like a note. An origami okay. thing I made. Sure. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I had it passed well, that was a on to him during the graduation. An origami okay. blowjob. Okay. Yeah, he would have preferred anyway, blowjob, but so, fine. What happened, so I thought that was the end of it, but I still like him. And then a year later, I got his number, so I started texting him like happy, like on holidays. And then uh-huh. the thing is, the week after I started texting him, that fake why the fake Facebook account person messaged me again. And then okay. deep down, I had the feeling it was him because like the timing <laughs> sure. was so right. Sure, and sure, then, sure, 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 sure. 
I gave him you send my him number, another pussy and now that guy started texting me, and now that guy, he can't stop texting me, and somehow I, I feel, I still believe it's him. I don't know. Okay, two-minute warning is done. What's the question? Oh, my God. Um, should I? I have one more thing. Sorry. One, la, one last thing. So Does it have to do with guy, nudity? The guy that I really like, he works, he sells condos, he works at this mall and sells condos. Uh-huh. So what I did was, uh-huh. since I really, really liked him, um, I also have yeah, my own business, have you. and then... Uh-huh. Our business has postcards with contact details. So I went up, oh I was supposed to go up God. to him, but then he wasn't there. So I went up to his friends and then I told his friends, um, hi, I have a friend who's interested in buying condos. Do you think you could give him a call? And then I gave the postcard and I said, you can contact him through this number. And then mm. his friend was like, this number? And I was like, yeah. And then all of a sudden, she flipped the card. And then when she flipped the card, I ran away. Because at the back mm-hmm. of the card, I wrote, will you, will you go out with me blank? And then I left my name, my number. And then RSVP 12, 14, 13. So that's Saturday. So my question is... I like, don't give a fuck. What's the question? The question is, should I move on or give yes. up? Yes. Holy shit. We should move on. What the hell? Oh my God! Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait. Let's not get mad. So we gotta, we gotta go. There's so many calls right now. Okay. Uh, what's your name, Bella? Bella. Okay, Bella. Listen, love. You have uh, taken this whole uh, internet uh, relationship thing and did the worst possible thing you can do with it, which is, uh, it's not just catfishing. You guys mixed. It's almost like online schizophrenia is what you guys have done. You've taken multiple personalities. You've thrown them fake, real. You've met up with people that you thought were someone else. You sent pictures of your vagina person. to people you didn't you even know. You didn't even know who these people pictures were. Pictures of your pussy to people you thought was someone else. You've done exactly. You. I could not think of a worse mind fuck of internet use. No, the thing is, Kasa, I uh, no, ever. no. The thing is, Kasa, is that you hope? keep talking to people, and you were hoping that it was one that this one guy. You don't even know if it was that guy in any of these situations, because yeah. everything was a fake YM account, a fake Facebook account, a fake. Why are you trying to date somebody that has to be listen, so many different fake things? Listen, I'll tell you this real quick, uh, um, Bella. You know, I, I'm online a lot as well, and I'm on Skype because I use it for business. And every now and then, some really hot chick is going to add me, and I know immediately it's bullshit. Now, there's some people out there that think it's real. You're the people that send your contact and bank information to Nigeria because you think you've won a million fucking dollars. <laughs> That's what you are. You are a victim of some stupid internet shit. Now, sometimes I'll add these girls on Skype. So I'll say, hey, I want to Skype with you. I'm like, where did you get my face? Where did you get my number from, for example? I'm like, I'm going to see it. And I click on, and it's a video of this super hot chick naked. And she's like, hi. But you know what that is? That's a recording. Pico, get over here. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Right? How many times has it happened to you where it's a fake person with a recording being looped, and they're going, hi, can I see you? Can you show me your dick? All the time. Yep. And you know it's fake Mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. You believed it to be real. It's bullshit. And you got a pussy photo sent out. It's the same thing as being conned, love. You got it's not duped. the guy from Ateneo. It's not the guy from. It's just guys online who are looking for people like you who's stupid enough to fall for the fucking story. Wait, now, maybe is, it was. I, we actually almost met. The almost. Guy from Ateneo. Doesn't almost matter. does not mean you story. did meet. Bella, it doesn't matter. Did no. you see him? Did yeah. you see Bella, him? Bella, Bella you're, the way you even present the story almost naturally. Or even psychologically, you're going to present it to us as if to make you sound like you were right. No. Even the way you okay, presented wait. it was fucking you were wrong. No, you know what, Bella, listen to me. You know how you told that whole story and all this, I think this and I thought that and I thought this and I thought... Everything was in your head. Dude, it was all... Yeah, you... You need You're to realize the that the only facts that were in that were that you sent some guy with a fake account who you didn't even know who he really was naked pictures of yourself. Uh, by the way, can you send me those two? Sit, <laughs> shit, your face is not there, right? No, I don't need them anymore. Oh fuck! You know, no and, and for even so in the, even long, even in the send folder, yeah, for so <laughs> long, you are trying to convince yourself that it's this guy that it's okay what yeah, you're doing you really for a guy that you don't even know exists. You know, on the other side of these chats, 
what is it's, so it's special about this guy? Does he have game. like a golden penis or something that you think no, that Be- you Bella, need to be with this Bella, guy? Like, Listen, whoa. Bella, if you called us and you said, I knocked on his door, he answered, and I said, you can see my pussy in real life. Then I would have said, that's okay. What you've done is not okay. You yeah. are, it's a dangerous game. I really, honestly, I, I'm telling you this, not to be funny or anything. I would have preferred you go to his house and just fuck them. Instead of this <laughs> whole crazy game that you played online, please yeah. don't do it again. I, okay. I, I, let's not let, let's not lecture you because it's gonna. We're just gonna say the same things over and over, and we're just gonna waste time. All don't right. do it again. Okay. Don't do it again. Yeah, do not I trust won't. the internet. Please do not trust Facebook accounts. When people try to add you, by the way, why are you still using YM? Hello. No, this but was just a long time ago. And I was okay, three right. years, four years ago. Right now. Now. Oh, okay, all right, fair enough. He just texted don't. Me. Yeah, when when people send you like like fake emails, fake accounts on Skype, fake accounts on YM, those are all bullshit. Don't, yeah, you and delete stop, them immediately. Stop dating fake people. Why do you need to date yeah. fake people, Bella? Date people who are real. If, if who you, you see, like who someone, you meet, make sure you know that that's them. And then when it's them, dude, if you want to show them your pussy, show them your pussy in real life. <laughs> don't send this shit want to people. To. You're not. A, I wanted to make sure that I meet him. Yeah, so well, you send him? Oh my god! It, yeah, so right? you send him a picture of your vagina? Yeah, that was really stupid. yeah, yeah. But I'll take it. You know, <sighs> if I was on the other end, just saying. All right, all right. I'm just saying, it's not that bad of an idea. It's a bad idea, but I'll take it still, Bella. It's fine. Oh my god. But all right, baby, just don't do it anymore. Okay, you learned. You know, yeah. you know it's bad. You know it's wrong, and yeah. you could have been thoroughly. Compromised, but you weren't. Thankfully, your face was on the, wasn't on yeah, the Yeah, and Bella, remember that yeah, these people good. could be anybody. Okay, again. they could yes. be rapists. They yes. could be murderers. They could be anyone. Right. Okay, so stop being so naive about this. Remember, we said this in the last time I was here on the podcast. Background check on these people. Okay. Okay. Totally. okay. All right, baby. Good job. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for the call. You're all right. You're all right. Just hang in there. You you, you got to you got to take it for a ride. You were 19. Oh you learn. Thankfully, a you're safe. A four year ride, Nothing bro. Happened. That's a long yeah, ass ride. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. All right. Hey, it was a battle. You lost. Get up. Dust yourself off. You're gonna be good. Don't do it again. All right, Bella. Thanks, baby doll. Back after this. Stay t- tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Stars were always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Minsan may mga biglaang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kaming napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Then the maid got jaundice. Jaundice is different from jaundice. Jaundice is buntis, like that. But she does not. <laughs> Tears off. Tears off. Anyway, jaundice does not know. <laughs> this is professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so jaundice, and I'm now. Happy to present to you, Carlo Tayo. Look at this, the third of it. Tayo, so many snacks. Ano ba to? Ganyan ba yan? Tapos? Ang puti. Ang... Ay, tapos. Dito ba pwede ba dyan? Pwede, pwede. Consider. <laughs> Yan, yeah, para sa show mo, ha? O. Oh. Aray ko. Ang mayaya ba? Pwede ba itong ano? <coughs> Zora, pang ano ba to? Oil absorbing? Pwede pa itong pang nose line? <laughs> Okay, oh. may caution. A when, caution! When caution! Was it a glamour thing? When used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. Abura hin na, abura hin na siya. Oh my god! Damn! Sorry, ma. Was it a glamour? Do talaga? Hindi ba ko yan? Don't worry. Buti ako sa matala. Hindi naman nagkakap yun. Dapat 
Join your host, Carrot Nazareno, on Live Love Lulls every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. Hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Another very, very busy night here on the podcast. We will try to accommodate the next bunch of calls in the 20 minutes that we have left. So let's get to it right away. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two, brought to you by Globe. Catalano on the program. Hi, Cat. You ready to go? Yes. Go. All right. Let's do it. Let's talk to a cell phone call. Line six. Who do we got here? Leo. Leo, 36 years hi. old. Quezon City. What's up? Yeah, hi. Um, basically, it's a bit animatic. I'm going out with a um, more mature guy right now. Oh, by the way, I'm gay. Uh huh. So, oh, you are? Yeah, God, you yeah, didn't know it. Hold yeah. on one second. For the first time, uh, I didn't hear gay in you the whole time. Oh, yeah. I, I did. did. Actually, actually, this is the second time that I called your, uh, your show, and then the first time you didn't even um, notice that I was also gay. I didn't know that. All right, brother. All right. So, okay. Anyway, back to your question. Sorry. You, yeah, so you're gay and I'm what? Rather, you have a yeah, partner. I'm 36 years old. I'm going out with this guy right now. It's uh-huh. a, it has a future. It's a good relationship. Uh-huh. But the thing is, I'm still hooking up with my ex-boyfriend because the sex is better with him. And now, especially now that it's it's just sex, no strength attached, no no issues, no concerns. Sure. So like tonight, for example, tonight I um, just came from a dinner with my boyfriend and then I'm, I got home and then my, my ex-boyfriend's on his way here. So, you know. To do stuff, gonna fuck whatever. your brains out. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. So what's the question? Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> should I be feeling guilty about it? Because you know, there's no strength you know, at anyway. Yeah. Listen. It's, it's it's so difficult. With look, you're asking me now personally. Obviously, if I didn't have my own my own bias and and all of that stuff, I would tell you you're an asshole. You're wrong. <laughs> I love that. You're, this you're, is like the one, like time that Mo will say that this is okay. I've heard this before. Yeah, you know, but the, cause, again, <laughs> go on about the gays. Maybe, I know. Go on. Maybe I'm biased. It, it's just with the gay guys, I just feel like it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, no, I mean, you're right, though. There is, it, I mean, not that I know that much about the gay community, but I do, I do hear things, and you are right that, you know, when it comes to gay men, they do have more, you know, open, promiscuous sex. They swap partners a lot more. They are men. I mean, that's what they do, right? Yeah, the two yeah, the guys. Problem, I mean, problem, what are you going to do? But at the same time, you know, when a gay man finds somebody that they can have as their partner, you know, you don't really want to give that up, right? Here's yeah. Ultimately, this is what it is, Leo. Okay, you love your boyfriend. You have established yeah. that. You love him so much. And there are going to yeah. be a lot of purists out there, purists of love who go, how can you love him and still break him behind his back, stab him in the back like that? Pun intended, well, by the way, since you're stabbing different. someone in the back anyway, like with your dick. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how can you be stabbing him in the back like that when you're supposed to be in love? You're not really in love. You're just pretending. You know, there's going to be all of these things. I think you really love your boyfriend. And if you want to fuck your ex-boyfriend because he's amazing in bed, I'm going to allow you to do that tonight. However, you have now to I know am. if you get caught, yeah. you cannot cry. You cannot feel bad. You cannot call the show and go, because you're a smart guy. I know you're smart. You know that if you get caught, that's it. No crying. No complaining. Can I just feel bad for a day at least? Of course. Of course, if you, I mean, you can do it. Like I said, I want you to be happy, Leo. I really do. Yeah. If that means you being a shitbag boyfriend, that's fine. I just want you to know if you want our blessing, I think that's what you're calling for, to get our blessing to fuck your boyfriend tonight, your ex-boyfriend tonight. Please yeah. feel free. Enjoy. I hope you have a good time. Okay. But if you get caught, don't you fucking come crying to us or to anybody. This is your I fault. Won't. And then that's it. And okay, and if also, you're okay with that, then I'm okay with that. Also, Leo, at some point in time, if you really are serious about your boyfriend, though, you want to try and give the ex up. You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah, but he's okay. he's holding on to the last few years of youth. Yeah, I know, left. I know, yeah, and, so and him, I mean, you know, let him have it. In the gay community, I know that this happens sometimes. So you know, yeah, that's totally. He's gonna, yeah. he's gonna change. He's gonna change in a few years. I mean, Leo, you're gonna give it up in a few. Years. Your asshole's not gonna be that tight anymore, and then you're gonna be losing bowels and stuff like that when you're forty. So. You know, live it up. Enjoy the last few years of aggressive dude the last sex. Four years. And then, yeah, last four years, and then after that, maybe in a couple of years when you've really kind of turned the corner, you can have an honest, Gay good relationship. relationship with your current boyfriend. 
Yeah. So well, fuck I up. Yeah. Another, yeah. I have go another ahead. question because as, as I've noticed as I'm growing older, um, the lipid is going higher. Oh, the that's your libido uh, you know, is going higher. No, that's true. Well, wait. Yeah. Y- yeah, I mean, but it, it'll it'll come. There'll be a decline soon. It's maybe your 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 sex drive is high because again, like I said, you're holding on to a little bit of the youth you have left, and you're faking it by going out more and doing this more. But yeah. it'll hit you. Don't worry. Trying, when you wake up, cope, don't complain. Yeah, when you wake up <laughs> and your lower back hurts you and it, you're you know you're bent over while brushing your teeth because you can't straighten your back, then you'll see. It's not too fun anymore. You're okay. fine, though. Thank and enjoy also, time. Leo, Thank please you. be safe. Protect yourself if you're going to be having yeah, promiscuous yeah, sex. Do. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Love All to right. hear it. Thank you. Miss Kat, you're always you're beautiful, Miss Kat. Thank you so much, Leo. That's so nice of you. Thank, hey, thank you. you. Thank you so much. All right, Thank you. Leo. You're welcome. All right. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. I it's, like it's, him. It's a, what a nice we're such, yeah, we're such assholes, by the way, because uh, if that was... Um, Straight couple, we would have been on his couple. ass, like, how dare you? It's so red. Or, eh. Fucking asshole. Fucking I know. Die, bitch. That's you why know? I was saying to you that I love that the, the, the only time that you don't get mad at cheaters is when they're gay. <laughs> it's like, yeah. oh, here we go. The, like, uh, well, the only, what, what would you call that? The only special treatment that they get, yeah. that they get on the show is when they're gay yeah. and cheating. Let's go to... Um, <laughs> I just feel like he's going to get caught. He's going to call me. <laughs> like, oh, you're right. Yeah. Shit. Why didn't you tell me? Although, no, what are telltale to signs? Like, if you're a gay guy, how would you know that your boyfriend was having gay sex with another man? Would would it be looser? If he had a bigger dick than you, would it be looser? You know? No, listen. If I was a gay guy, I would assume my boyfriend's cheating on me. And again, really? this is not to be... There are probably a lot of gays out there who are mad at us going, what the fuck, guys? And you know, Not all of us are like that. Yeah, that's true. But I'm only talking about sheer scientific explanation. Not about a bias I have towards the lifestyle. I'm talking about the, the science behind it. You get two guys? Absolutely. Two guys? We together? are totally being scientific about this. This is about natural Fucking instinct. A. This isn't yeah. about like we're saying that gays are bad people and they just yeah, fuck around. No, no, no it's not, not about that. It's about guys, okay? Guys two with girls dudes? already do this. Guys on guys, this is going to happen twice oh, as much, man. right? So if I was a gay guy, I would always assume, if I was a young gay guy, I mean, I would always assume my boyfriend's cheating on me. Always. Yeah. And, and accept it. Yeah. And then I, I think put my dick in as many ass honest. I can find. I mean, a yeah. lot of gays that I talk to are very accepting of those things or even yeah. more fucked up situations, to be honest. And it's just kind of normal. And if so. you are a gay guy that's loyal and if you are in a relationship, that both, then God bless you. Yeah. I applaud you. Good really. for you. Good and, job. And, like, yeah. You've beaten science. Mm-hmm. That you found someone as well. I mean, good for you. That's nice. Yeah. Good. Like you, that. And, and it kind of even is back to the, our caller prior to that, which is, okay, if you want to get in a relationship with a guy, with a girl who's not going to have sex, if you can power through that and, and beat that urge, then God bless you, man. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. But guess what? You're rare. Yep. There are always exceptions the, to the rule, yeah, but those exceptions for the are rare. the public. Yes. All right. Let's get to Anne. Uh, no, no, sorry. Uh, line five, and then we'll go to Anne. Line five is... Hold on. on. Anne Curtis? May, 17 years old. Sorry. Oh, hi. May, you're 17, Marikina. Hi. Oh, May, you sound so hot. It's crazy. Oh, God. Hi. May, so, I already... Uh, I may, talk to me. Don't talk to me right now. I should, May. You're only seven. May, wait, May, are you hot? No. Oh, fuck you, you fucking liar. <laughs> Look at that. The way she says it, I was like, no. Oh, God damn it. No. <laughs> I've had such kind of depressed day. about it, too. Like, no, I'm not. I've hot. had such a long day of being hot that you don't know how tiring <laughs> being hot is. It's so tiring. Like, people text you. Like, my phone's always low bat. By like 11 a.m., my phone is low bat because there's so many fucking guys texting me. It's so <laughs> Thank tiring. Thank you, though. May, are yeah. you incredibly hot? May, be honest. Are you fucking hot hmm. or not? May. I'm not sure. You're not sure? Yeah, oh, I mean, oh, that's hot. Right. Yeah. Man, we know it. <laughs> is your problem that you're too hot? Is that the problem? I wish. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, All right, so hot. what's All the right, problem? Anyway, what's the okay. question? You're 17. What's the problem with your hot life? So, mm-hmm. Is oral sex considered in as a commonplace as sex itself? I mean, um, I know you hate this question about like being diversionized by oral sex, but is it... Oh yeah, you listen. You read my Ask FM, huh? Yeah. Um. Hmm. So, okay. You want it to define for yourself or for other people? Sometimes it's different. For myself like, as well. Yeah. What? Okay. So you're uh, asking. 
Mo in- interpretation. Be, be, because because be, because you know there's this thing about like guys want to make sure their girlfriend's a virgin and oh my god did you are you really a virgin you know there's all of these things so the definition of virginity is always so weird because I think virginity is a sex act like whether he puts a dick in your fucking pussy or you put a dick in your mouth you've had sex mm-hmm. it's it's the fact that you've been intimate nude and like somebody came Mm -hmm, (laughs) mm -hmm. there's that's sex whether you put it in your pussy or not right yeah Uh, but then obviously there's the you're only a virgin like you know we get people who ask me so i given 15 blowjobs in my life but i've never had sex because i don't want to get pregnant am i still a virgin i'm like not really not really (laughs) real virgins don't know what it's like to give people head that's yeah, that's no, you're not a virgin. I mean, if you've given 15 blowjobs, I'm going to go ahead and say you've had some sex in your yeah. life. Yeah, and also you know? it's, they do say oral sex. It's still a sex act, so technically it is right. sex, you know? Plus, some guy you can catch STDs and from, me. From, from those things too. So yeah, you know. Some guy fingered me with five fingers. He put four in my hand and a thumb. Uh, am I still a virgin? Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, also, okay, yeah, you can still be a virgin, but come on now. Who are you fucking kidding, right? And you know what? You the, just the had thing four is, like, people are pussy. always going with the technicality of if your hymen's broken, then you're a virgin or not a virgin. You know, girls can break their hymens when they're riding on horses. And I don't mean having sex with horses riding them. I mean riding horseback. Like, right. girls' hymens can break. Or when they use tampons and stuff, it can happen. So right. if, so if when, you were riding a horse the, and your hymen broke, are you not a virgin anymore? Right, see, that's why the definition, that's why I'm asking, are you defining it for yourself? Are you defining it for your boyfriend? friend because if it's for your boyfriend then yeah you're a virgin who cares right your boyfriend wants to hear that fucking just tell him you're a virgin whatever yeah. who gives a shit uh-huh. but for yourself really you're giving bjs and you still think you're a virgin probably not but there's a scientific explanation to it see as kind said you know so it, it, this virginity thing every time i'm asked it it's always comical to me i end up asking them what have you done and then if you want my opinion i'll give you my opinion if i think you're a virgin or not if you're sucking multiple dick i'm gonna say you're not a virgin if you suck one dick, are you're you, probably not a virgin. Are you asking us this question because you haven't done anything and you want to do something and you're wondering if you'll still be a virgin after you do it? No. Um, oh, too it's late for just, that, huh? I've done things, but not with a penis. Oh, you've done so things with a girl. So what does that mean? You've, you what, you've, you've sucked a dick or you've eaten She's a pussy or a what? Girl. How about, what about someone that's gotten down on, on you? Girl? Yeah. Well, that's sex. Again, in my book, it's sex. It's the loss of... Innocence. I don't want to say innocence. I feel like we've taken something from you criminally. But no, it if it's something you like wanted... That. Just as long as you got naked... How about this? Just as long as you got naked with somebody, you wanted to. He fondled your, your genitals or you fondled his. You ate it, licked it, put a finger in it, put your dick in it. Any kind of sex act, then you've lost your virginity. In our book. That's all. So even I'm not doing anything. Sure. Yes. Yeah, because, I mean, yeah. uh, you know, if you want to be technical and you want to say, you know, to a guy you've never had sex before, yeah, you're right. You've never had sex before. But you have had a sex act done to you. So really, it's kind of your choice whether or not you want to say you're yeah, a virgin or not. that's you a know? very good line, Kat. It's your choice whether you want to say you're a virgin or not. I would say you're not a virgin to, when it comes to sex acts. I would still say you're a virgin because you, in fact, haven't had a dick in you. But at this point, May, you know what? Why, why even bother? If you liked what happened to you, if you enjoyed it, shit then just say you're not a virgin so you can continue to enjoy it more with different people. This is the start of your sexual career. Embrace it, enjoy it, and don't think about these things too much. I don't know if that's irresponsible for me to say, to tell a girl, don't think about your virginity too much, but I'm just saying at this no, point, wait, if you're you getting your pussy eaten out, I mean... We do need to, to talk about this, though, because, you know, the virginity thing kind of drives me insane. Yes, you know, great. If you want to keep it for marriage or for someone, please, for someone special at least is a good thing, okay? Someone you love and all that stuff, but... If you're not a virgin with your boyfriend or husband, it is not the end of the world, okay? Sure. Everybody's always like, oh, I lost my virginity. Now I'm a, I'm a mess. The guy didn't stay with me and all this shit. Come on, guys. Like, your virginity does not define you as a person. But that's why I you tell know? you keep it to yourself. Yes. Like, keep your religion to yourself. Keep your virginity to yourself. I don't want to hear about it. Who cares? If somebody doesn't want to be with you because you're not a virgin, they're a superficial douchebag that's not really with you because of your feelings or who you are. If you want to talk about your sex life with your friends, that's a different thing. I mean, do it. 
Yeah, because you'll get pointers, you'll get tips and stuff like that. But if it, you know, if if it's gonna, if your sex life is gonna hurt someone else's feelings, don't talk about it. Yeah. And if you don't want people to judge you like that, then don't tell them. They don't don't need to know. Yeah. You know, you never, you never had sex with a guy before. That's all you need to say. I think, I think, I think, I think the best line that was said here, May, regarding you is. Whatever you want to do about it. Whatever you want to feel about it. It's up to you. I think Kat said, what would you say, Kat? It's up to you whether you want to think you're a virgin yeah. or not. Yeah, whether you want to say you're a virgin Question. Uh, Just as long as you're happy with what you do and you're proud of your behavior, which you can be having sex is nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah. If you're proud of what you do, you're proud about your decisions, then you're fine. What's your question, May? Oh, uh, I'm crushing on someone... Uh, She's a professor in a school. In a school, we don't uh-huh, go to yeah. the same school. Uh-huh. But I have met her a couple of times already. Uh huh. I'm not sure how to take it though. I mean, I want to see her. How old is she? I'm not sure. She's probably in her twenty, late twenties. Okay. Well, uh, have you started talking to her? Uh, not. I have. But not in and see, by the level. way, you're you're a fucking lesbian, obviously. Now you're gonna be a virgin forever if we're gonna go with the definitions, right? I mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, but anyway, moving along. Um, I'd wait. T- when do you turn eighteen? Next year. When? What month? September. I just said. Call us back in August on uh, last week of August about this question mm-hmm. because right now I, I I'm just not comfortable with telling you to go get go after this late twenties professor when you're seventeen still. Yeah. It's just a little creepy for me. I mean, even though a lot of chicks are dating old dudes now at 16, and let's, also, let's, let's put it away for another year. Yeah, okay? also because you are 17, that can be a little bit dangerous for somebody who's a teacher. You know, you yeah. kind of want to stay away from that because if they find out that you guys are having a relationship, that but could ruin the thing her is, career. We don't go to the same school. It doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't matter. Does the fact that a teacher matter. is going out with someone who's underage yeah. Uh, even though here there isn't really legal age, but you know what I mean? It's not yeah. a good look. And it's not teachers good kinda for teachers. Teachers kind of have a moral obligation, a code that they have to w- kind of work under. And, you know, it's just one of those things. It's it's bad news. Yeah. And I, if I were you, I would wait till September and then you pursue this teacher. Okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right, baby. Thanks for the call. Bye, May. Have a good one. <laughs> lesbian joke that I can't May think is. of right now, but lesbian joke. <laughs> Ooh. All right. May, may, may. <laughs> Calm Man. down, Mo. Take a deep breath. It's all right. May day. Uh, one more. Let's go to. God, there's so many good calls. Uh, make it a good one. Six. Make it a good one. And we have to give away an iPhone, remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Let's go to me. Uh, Anne, you're uh, 21. You're in Ortega. Can line you six. buy Hi, me Anne. and all of my friends? What? Anne? Hello? Hi, baby. What's up? Hi, Anne. Hello, how are you guys doing? Good, We're how are great. you? How are you? What's up? What's your question? Good. <laughs> oh, man. All right, what's up? What happened to you? Okay, so Christmas is fast approaching, and then I asked my boyfriend what gift does he want to receive, and then he said, I was. But the problem is, well, um, my vagina. What did he say? What, what, what did he say? Yeah, I missed it because you said pussy. Sorry about that. That's my fault. That was rude. <laughs> what did sorry, you Kat. say, Anne? I know hats do talk about sex. It's the way she's so the way she's saying it. I know. I know. The, I the know. present I, was sex. I, know, but I got it. Re- say the whole line again. Sorry, I interrupted you, and that's my fault. I apologize. <laughs> and speak up a little bit. You asked your boyfriend. Oh no, we lost, oh, her. Okay, lost her. Get her back. <laughs> You can yeah, tell, I totally you can lost it though. I, I it. totally like, heard you say a pussy, and I missed what it was. It is totally sexual, though. You're right. I yeah, was no, like, "What I is it?" I wasn't Anal? off. I was just rude. He wants beads. Yeah. He wants what? Hello. I mentioned beads. Okay, here beads. we go. You asked your boyfriend. Speak up a little louder, Anne. You asked your boyfriend what he wanted for Christmas, yeah. and what did he say? And then he said, "A wild sex." Oh, wild, wild sex. sex. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, you're right. close, pussy. Mm-hmm. And okay, then, but the problem is. My vaginal infections recur. Your vaginal what kind of, what infections kind of vaginal hurt. infection do you have? Candidiasis. Candidiasis. Uh, what is it's that? It's a yeast. Well, most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right, right. Mm-hmm. right. I know what that is now. Uh huh. Okay. 
And then okay, it's so like that I have an STD or what, but I can't tell him because he doesn't have any medical experience at all. So if I tell him that, hey, babe, I have this something in me, he might be shocked. And Are you having I sex right now? Right. Are you having? This se- yeah, I mean, are you? Are, no, 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 no. I mean, are you having sex in this <laughs> Not on the phone. <laughs> Not while right you're now. on the phone. Yeah, us. we already have. No, no, but I mean, are you having sex while you have this fungal infection already? Well, and I have you're, this I mean, experience before. No, no. I mean, habang, no, no, habang, habang no, 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 I'll rephrase it. I'll, yeah, no, no, I'll rephrase yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. When's the last time you had sex? Let me see. For about a month ago. Okay. 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 So and how when, long have you? Oh, wait, wait. How long have you been sick with this vag problem? How long has this problem been with you? For a week. Okay. okay. All right. Listen. Go to the doctor. Ask the doctor, "Can I have sex on Christmas Day?" And if the doctor says yes, if you take this medication for your puss, then you can have sex. Then you can have sex. So that's it. I actually like, went to um, to my OB. Uh-huh. And then uh-huh. she said that I can take this medication, but I can't have sex for about two months. Oh, okay. shit. Well, then, with your boyfriend, you can make up some story. You don't have to tell him your medical problem. Just say, uh, maybe during, your, during Christmas week, just go, babe, I'm on my period, so I can't have sex. You know? Uh, don't get mm-hmm. naked, bottom, you know, take your top off, you show him your tits. Just tell him that you're you're on your period, and but you're gonna give him the blowjob of his life, and he's gonna be very happy still. Yeah, but what's she gonna do for two months? She's gonna lie to him and say they can't have sex because she still has her period. Yeah, be busy. Listen, he's just her boyfriend. And she's still pretty young. She doesn't have to divulge any medical information to this fucker. Yeah, but did he is this something that she could have caught from him? No, it's a yeast infection. It happens all the time. It's a fungal infection, it. Mo. It's not a. It's yeah, not a yeast no, infection. It's a fungal well, infection. It, it's there's still. A difference. It's nothing. It, there's. It's nothing that you need to share with him. If the doctor Unless says you're going to be fine, the doctor says that you could have got it from him. And if they've had sex, he could still have it. Even if she got treated, she could still get it back from him. It's not an STD, right? Is that what you said? No, it's hey. not. Okay, yeah. well, and then, uh, you're good. Okay. No need to tell him. Yeah, you don't need to tell no him. To but tell yeah, you do need. Now, to, how do you? To okay, how do you prolong for two months? Yeah, how do you? How do you avoid him, Big <laughs> Cat? You ask that question. I'm gonna ask you for an answer as well. How do you avoid him? Busy, it's college, uh, things sorry? like that. I, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. I, two I, I, months. Here, 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 that's a long time. Here we go. Where do you generally have sex? Um, anywhere, I guess. Okay, private place, of course. Right. Okay, so start hanging out in le- in public places more in the- for the next two months. Every time he wants to go out, just go out to public places. And then that's a good way to delay no, for a little while. No, come on. Well, you know that this is not going to work. You know that after like a no, no, month, no. he's going to be like, how come we haven't had sex in so long? Yeah, and then you give him a blowjob in the car or something. Oh, my God, Mo, you know that's not going to work. Kat, do you have a better plan? See, okay, yes, you're right that Honestly. mine is a stretch, but do you have a better plan? <laughs> Unless you have a better plan... This is the best. Oh, you know what? Like I would say, how long have you been with your boyfriend, Anne? Six, Anne? Months. Six months. Six months. Oh, so there's uh, a lot of see, fucking that needs to be done. Yeah. That's tough. See? Okay, well, listen. No, no, no. Listen, I still got it. Hey, life isn't easy, Kat. Yeah, I'm I mean, saying. shit. There's going to be some sacrifices needed. All yeah, right, so okay, here we go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Public places... Busy with school, new semester starting, if you're still, in fact, in school. If you're not in school anymore, just say you've got huge projects at work that's going to last for the next two months. Uh, you don't have as much time no, to hang what? out, Okay, I, I, but I there are going to be some blowjobs. I had an idea. Uh, yep. You could always tell him that, uh, the, like, you haven't had sex for a month, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How come? Is it because of this? No. No, I have. I'm busy at work. You've but been busy now, at since work. Vacation is. Well, there you go. Coming. Okay. I don't know what okay. to say anymore. What so you could technically uh, say that 
from the past when you guys had sex, like maybe he could have injured you down there or something. You went to your OB and your OB was like, you know, maybe you guys had a little bit. Yeah, maybe he maybe he ripped you a little bit by accident. So maybe there's a little cut on the inside. And when you have sex, it's a little bit painful, you know, so you guys have to wait like two months for it to heal properly. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that it doesn't, you know, it's a little better than, baby, I'm I'm working. Uh, I got to go. Oh, uh, let's hang all out. Right, all right, you're right, you're right, you're right, all right, all right. Cat's right, right. You can say that. You can, but, and you can make it even sound like his dick was too big for you, and that's what. Ha- that's what. And then all of a sudden, he feels good about himself, unless his dick is small though, and then yeah. it doesn't make sense. But and nevertheless, just say, listen, babe, your dick's. You, you just fucking pounded on me too hard that I torn the inner vaginal walls, and I have make up a sickness, vaginismus, which is a real one, but whatever. And then just say you have to wait a month, but in the meantime, I can blow you three times a week. And then he's like, "Okay, I'll take it." Yeah, shit, my dick's too big for you. I get it. I understand. Yeah. You're just, you're just human. Something like and I'm, that. And I'm a stallion. Yeah, I'm a horse. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm with you there. Thanks for that. Thanks for that, Kat. That was good advice. Thanks. All right, we gotta go. We're super late. Thanks for the call, baby. You're gonna be fine. When we come back, we gotta wrap it up. Boy, we are over time. For all the people that they didn't get on air, I know I keep saying this every single night. It's just, it's almost automatic already. We apologize. Tomorrow, get yourself on the show. We'll put you on, guaranteed. Uh, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll say our goodbyes. It's Good Times with Mo the Podcast, Season 2, brought to you by Globe. Back in a short, short break. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes may mga bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. And visit www.motwister.com. You know, when it comes to caller of the night and, you know, who's going to get this chance at the iPhone 5C, I, I think we can narrow it down to the two people. The guy who fucked his girl, his ex girlfriend. Uh, yeah, fuck the ex-girlfriend yeah. at McDonald's. And, and then the gay girl guy who's going to fuck lesson. his ex-boyfriend. It's, it's all about fucking your exes tonight. And... Of the two, I like the gay guy. I just, I just like the way he carried himself. And I then, like you know, Leo, too. He was very pleasant. Although so, McLovin was super entertaining, I like Leo. Yeah. All right, let's go with Leo. So sorry, McLovin. Uh, <laughs> you're young. This guy's 36 yeah. years old. Yeah. You're young. You're, there's some, you know, you have to pay your dues. Yeah. We're, we'll are we go ahead and award tonight uh, this winner as uh, Leo, 36-year-old gay guy whose boyfriend is on his way to his house right now. Right now, that ass winning up. all night. That's right. Winning. But I don't know what thought. That's the way it's got to be. All right. Anyway, uh, we'll uh, see you guys tomorrow on the podcast. Thank you, Kat, for being here. Oh, thank you Appreciate for having it. me. As always, you can follow Kat on uh, Twitter, at Kat Alana. I think she did an excellent job with her advice tonight. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, and then let us know if anything happens with that album. But I think you'll be here next week before we take that break, right? Yeah, I will be. Yeah, great. All right, we'll see you next week then, love. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a good night. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was executively produced by Mohan Gumata, engineered by Miguel Alfindo, and operated by Icon Media E. Special thanks to Magic 89.9. <laughs> you can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com.